Hello, and welcome Hello. to the Party Dungeon. This is Dungeon Party. As always, I'm your DM, Blake Peebles, and this is your cast. Nice pants, Phoenix. What are, what are, they're, they're space pants. I thought I bought them be. for him for um, Christmas. I have space blanket, and Phoenix has yeah. space pants. Now we match. Aw. He's got, I think for his birthday one year, I also got him a NASA t-shirt. Um, Wait, he has space pants? Yeah. He's, a, he's NASA. You have space pants, too. Yeah. Oh, Michael's going to put on his space <laughs> pants. It's space um, pants. Yeah. Wait, did you um, ruin my surprise? Well, it was just, I was excited about it. I know, I'm just kidding. I just wanted to make you feel bad for one second while I went to get my space pants. <laughs> Don't worry. I feel bad. Um, hey, what's up? So, we're playing D&D &D today. It's a D&D &D sort of day. Yeah, you have a space water bottle, peeps? Yeah, you're part of the gang, too. Um, space gang. Space gang. Uh, space gang, meet dead gang. So, last time Shandi died, um, and this isn't really a recap, but I just thought I'd lay down the stakes before we jump into anything here. Um... Phoenix, after the stream ended last time, told me that he didn't think I had it in me to kill a player. So I took his challenge, and uh, bringing back Shandi is going to be probably pretty difficult. I'm really digging my own grave right now by saying this, because you guys are going to make it through this session without breaking a fucking sweat, and I'm going to look like an idiot, but... Yeah! Space pants! Um, oh no, what happened? Map tool said no more. Are you guys still connected to the server? Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> I just got an error message for no reason. Um, uh, yeah. It's fine. But uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens today. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm trying something new, so I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, space pants! <laughs> yeah! Pants it's made of space. Um, anyway. Yeah. Does anybody else have any sweet, sweet announcements they want to throw out there? None at all? Michael, you look so demure. It looks like you're winding up for something. I look um, so demure, as in I'm not always demure. <laughs> <laughs> I like your space pants, Phoenix. Thanks. I don't like how you can see my whole entire room, including my legs, when I leave the room. <laughs> But you have nice legs. You got nice yeah. legs and they're covered in space, dude. You, you got good gams. I have an announcement. Gam cam. What's um, your announcement? The pizza that I, uh, the, the, the uh, pizza I just put in the oven, on the box it says, duffed with two and a half feet of gooey cheese, daddy. It says <laughs> no, word, it doesn't. It says the word daddy on the box. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does. I believe, I believe it. Uh, Not in marketing make... being what it is, you know. It, it's DiGiorno. Oh. Fuck DiGiorno. Daddy Jorno. Daddy Jorno. That's, no, that's how. Um, Red Peter, bear. there's a lot of passion in there. Yeah, no, so, so, okay, so, my house used to live off of, uh, Acme brand generic pizzas. Uh, but then we stopped shopping at Acme because we found a cheaper store. Um, but this means we couldn't get them anymore, so we switched to DiGiorno. DiGiorno, terrible quality in comparison. Um, look, so now we're on Red look, Baron. We're on when, the Red Baron. We're, we're adults. When we are buying DiGiorno, we know we're not getting quality. We just wanted food, and we're lazy. No. Way to, way to insult Peter's entire lifestyle right there. Yeah. No. <laughs> I've died of nothing but freezer. That's not true, actually. But... I, have a, I have a friend who's like that. Literally a diet of nothing but freezer pizza. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. But there are nights where you get home, you don't want to cook. Freezer pizza. Mm -hmm. When my mom and my sister were both on Nutrisystem growing up, when I was growing up, and we only had Nutrisystem meals for a while, I survived off a of freezer burn. Like, yeah. just the ice on the packaging? Yeah, well, I was... Well, yeah, that was water. Um, <laughs> that's how we no, like, everything was in the freezer for far too long. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't. I'm not convinced. Nutrisystem meals or a, a, a serving. I would have to eat five of them in order mm -hmm. to feel full. It's a serving for a very small tummy. I have a small tummy. You do have a small tummy, actually. So that's that's a that's a knock in the don't buy this cat category for I think for them. Yeah. 
Look at us canceling blind brands left and right. Uh, if any of those brands That's would like to because we're sponsored by the South Beach Diet. Oh, is that okay? Cool. We are sponsored yeah. by the South Beach Diet. That's why we're canceling all the other brands. But if any what of those, what was the movie? Oh, what was the movie? Diet. What was the mo movie? The what the? I don't know. <laughs> What was the movie where the little brother says to the older sister, well, sounds like someone's on the South Bitch Diet? I have no clue. It was, I remember thinking it was really funny growing up. I've never heard of that, but I, I believe that it exists. Yeah, and I was always sad that Caitlin and my mom chose Nutrisystem, so I could never say that to Caitlin. Nutribistums. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And for those people who might know Caitlyn and think she's so sweet, growing up she was a bitch, <laughs> and she knows it. And I'll tell her that. All right, we are not sponsored by older sisters on this stream. <laughs> Caitlyn um, Massey was a monster, and I'll say it here first <laughs> until she became a saint. Fair enough. Well, if that is uh, all the announcements we have, then let us move on. To a little bit of a recap um so the the group um went on a little field trip that they thought was going to be super simple where they went down to the uh town next to the wither queen's court a horrible uh fey murder jungle um and we we're trying to help them out with a little bit of a food shortage what started off as simple turned into a long uh, and convoluted quest involving kobolds uh ancient crystalline creatures and a uh, horrible cave uh once inside that horrible cave uh our good friend shandi was killed in a fight against the crystalline creatures who literally sucked the life out of those that they attacked and a hydra was also there um i see your smile peter don't make the joke <laughs> uh, <laughs> um <laughs> But upon his death, a voice rang out from behind a partially collapsed wall uh, belonging to some sort of entity that resided inside an hourglass atop a pile of gold. Um, upon realizing Shandi, well, this voice promised to return Shandi to the living if they freed uh, whoever was making the voice. Um, they decided to not trust that and instead take Shandi back to their two teachers who were uh, Brahm and Elitha, who were in town nearby who had a quick tense argument before deciding to take the party into the horrible fey murder jungle known as the Withered Queen's Court in order to resurrect Shandi and that is where we're going to pick up as uh, Brahm and Elitha well Brahm has healed all of you but you still are down whatever spell slots you've used already today and exhausted right you, you still have a level of exhaustion yeah. yes <clears throat> um <laughs> Whew. Um, but, uh, Brahm says, we're leaving. We're gonna leave here in ten minutes. Do whatever you need to prepare and meet us out front. Um, I'll carry him. And he grabs Shandi's newly revealed, a uh, horribly disfigured body. Um, not from the most recent attack, but from, you know, life. Uh, and he takes it outside with him. Elitha wordlessly follows. I mean, like, partially from the most recent attack. Yeah, I mean, he's got a broken rib cage and, like, probably a punctured lung or two, but... The the vast majority of his disfigurement was simply being hidden by his earring. Brahm, I don't suppose um, I'll have time to go and swap out some of my weapons now, would I? I mean, do you have them in your room? In my room? No, I would have to go see if they're available in town. Oh, I mean, just, just we're leaving in ten minutes. If you can get it done that quick, then that's fine. I probably can't. It's all right. Let's go now. Well, no, you I. Mean? You need to prepare for this. This is gonna be. <sighs> it's fine. I have Something. what I need. Just what I'm using. I'm realizing as I've been. I mean, my... you can probably go quick. I. You still have Long Strider on you. As I've been changing my fighting style over the past couple of weeks, it's just I'm not using what I have as much as I thought I would. Alright, fine. I'll sprint over there and see what I can do. Yeah, good plan, I guess. Uh, he seems a little... He seems uncharacteristically flustered at the moment. Um, hard to say whether it's the death of a student or the task ahead that's getting him that way, but he's he's a little unfocused. Alright, I sprint to the blacksmith. Cool. Yeah, there's blacksmith. Uh, what can Hello, I do Black for you, kid? I'm, I'm closing up shop here. 
All right, great. I'll be very quick. Could I get um, a great sword or some other two-handed weapon and a couple of throwing axes? Oh yeah, of course. I, I got stuff like that. Now let me check my prices real quick, okay? Um, all right. So you just want a two-handed weapon then, mm -hmm. or specifically a great sword? I mean, I'm a sword kind of fella, but I suppose anything will do. I've got a great axe. I've got. I do have a great sword, whichever you'd prefer. Uh, but the great axe is quite a bit cheaper than the great sword. It's only thirty gold to the great sword's uh, fifty. Hmm. Hey, I'm on a budget, so sure I'll take the great axe. And um, how many throwing axes do you have? Throwing axes. I got two of those. Throwing okay. axes. Well, those would be hand axes, right? Aye, that's correct. Yeah. All right. I got two of those. Five gold huh. piece. How many daggers do you have? Uh, I got four or five of them. How many javelins do you have? Javelins? I got a pack of ten of them. All right. How many? For, how much for the javelins? Well, for the javelins, I sell those at five silver pieces a pop. Um, all right. All right. So if you want all ten of them, they come in a little nice... If, if you buy all ten of them, you get a nice little uh, 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 holster for them that you can keep around. It's got the logo of my shop on it. It's just like a Wonderful. big bullseye. I'll take I'll take all ten of those. All right. Um, with the holster, I'll take the great axe. It puts me at thirty-five, and I'll take both hand axes. It puts me at forty-five gold, and I'll put it up to fifty gold for keeping the shop open for an extra minute. Oh, I appreciate it. Bam! Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye. Uh, what's everybody else up to? You are you do have a, a chest full of gold, three blood red diamonds, and a uh, creepy hourglass. I don't know what your plan is with that. I put it in our room. Cool. That's a later problem, is what that is. Sure is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do in ten minutes. This yeah, time. Uh, there's nothing I can do. I'm probably just prepped. sitting, like waiting. All right. Uh, cool. If that is the case, then um, we'll fast forward to uh, the end of the the. Yep, yeah. it's time. It's time to go. Okay. Um. So as you meet Brahman Elitha, this song sucks. Um. As you meet Brahman Elitha, out at. Yeah. As you meet Brahman Elitha out at um the edge of town, you can see the two of them quietly talking to each other. Brahma has got Shandi's corpse over one of his shoulders. Um, Hate know. that. Yep. Uh, as you approach, uh, Elitha says, well, are you ready? This will not be easy. You'll need to keep your wits about you. I'm yes, ready. Ma I say, I'm just like, Death You're out dead weapons. out. You just got weapons <laughs> strapped to every part of you. I think I, I think I got enough. I bought most of the stock, but I think we'll be good. Uh, He's uh, the player who knows where to get like the best chest at the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, I hope that doesn't slow you down, turn. No, I'm still unencumbered. Whatever that means. Um, <laughs> it means I can carry more. All right. Well. Do we have to the word that Elitha doesn't? No, but like if you carry an insane amount of stuff, then I'm going to call you on it. I'm uh, tracking my carry weight. I I'm figured you were. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well then, off we go. Um, and you guys begin walking towards the edge of the forest. Before you can get there, though, you hear a voice uh, calls out and says, Hold! Um, you turn. Anyone here named Holt? <laughs> you turn and you see Second Talon Bo Lau um, approaching you, hand on his sword. You, you you can't go in there. It's Brom off limits. Brom, who's like sort of staring off in the distance, goes, well, uh, "Yeah, uh, well, we've got a bit of a pressing issue." And he like just turns Shandi's dead face towards the guy. Um, and <laughs> Bo Lau goes, "Is that?" Hmm. I, I'm sorry. I did not realize that this job would be as difficult as it was. Um, I, I regret giving it to you. 
Hell, I hadn't even heard of you until a cryptal passing through turned down the job and recommended you for it. We I, took a job that the cryptals turned down? Well, it was under his pay grade, is what he told oh. me. And he recommended you guys. I'd never heard of you, really, but clearly this was too much. Um, sorry for your loss. And Elf says, well, if you let us into the forest, it won't be a loss. Now, out of the way. Says, I'm afraid, regardless of the circumstance, I can't. Um, and both her and Brom sort of pull down their collars to reveal a tattoo right under their collarbone that they both have. Um, they, they got a couple tattoo? <laughs> the tattoo is of a circle Siblings, with, siblings. It's a circle <laughs> oh, yeah, right. with vines sharpened into spears uh, surrounding it. Um, Bilal's face will sort of register shock. Say... Uh, uh, as you were and quickly about face and walk back to the wall well with that dealt with the harder part is to come keep up if you fall behind you may become lost I don't just mean physically um, Brahm and Elitha lead the way into the Withered Queen's Court. Entering into the court feels like nothing most of you have ever felt before. A... One moment. Come on, my mouse. Uh, a warm chill um, runs through your bodies as you cross into the court and continues to reverberate back and forth throughout you at different paces, keeping you on edge more or less permanently. Septon, you recognize this stimulation as the pervasive influence of the darker parts of the Feywild. You've experienced this before, but you've... Bad times. Yeah, you, not a not a fan of, of what comes with it. Bad yep, times. traveling adventures, get lost, wind up in the wrong spot, no good. It's not... They're traveling performers. Yep. It's not great. Um, as you make your way deeper into the twisted, petrified, and wasted forest, the feeling grows more and more intense. Uh, the full moon, noticeably dimmer than it was at the beginning of the year, shines its light down through the dead foliage, mixing with your surroundings to create an unsettling miasma that threatens to close in on your senses. Um, before too long of stepping over gnarled fallen trees, ducking under vines, skirting around hardened shrubs, and carefully avoiding getting stuck in the various ankle-sized pits of the earth, um, Brahm stops and holds up his hand as a signal to stop. Uh, Elitha whips open her spellbook in preparation and holds her hand up. They're both facing eastward towards a giant spiked vine. Brahm... Shanti on one shoulder pulls out his um, mace in the other hand. It says, Come on out! I know you're there. Stepping out from behind this giant spiked vine is a figure. Winfield, will you describe yourself? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so stepping hey! out from behind the giant vine is... I should pull my mic a little closer, actually. It's, oh, behind, my, it's behind my monitor. Um, stepping out from behind the vine is a wood elf um, wearing scale mail that is sort of overgrown with moss and bits of uh, thorned vine weaving in and out. Um, he has dark brown hair, dark brown eyes, and across his back is a long spear. Um, and as he treads towards you, uh, everything is completely silent. Um, and he approaches Brom. He says, you are not supposed to be here. Um, says, and make me leave, boy. Sort well, of I can't make you do that, face. but <laughs> I can have you arrested. Yeah, you and what rangers? You're speaking to the outwarden of these parts. <laughs> I didn't know they let whelps become outwardens these days. I mean, Elitha puts a hand on Brom's chest and says, you're a Adrian. Right? The thorn-bowed boy? Yes. I remember That's you. It's me. Uh, I, I remember you, Adrian. I... Listen, I... I understand that his presence here is... Not welcome, but we have a pressing issue. We must make it to the healer. We have... One of our students... 
he's dead. And scroll down. And um, Karafir is our best hope at bringing him back. Um, Adrian's gonna look, notice the corpse on Brom's shoulder. Um, well, I sympathize with you, but I can't have him going any further in. I'm I'm in a bad place already after the corpse bl- corpse flower attacks recently, and you know, if I let him into the woods, it'll be both our heads. Brum scoffs and says, "Well, I'm already in the woods. Too late for that, boy." Hmm. <laughs> now listen. Um, and he, like, gently slides Shandi off his shoulder and places him onto the ground, um, flipping his mace over to his more readily available hand and pulling out a shield. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> Why don't you show me what outwards are made of, huh? And Elvis says, Brum, we don't have time for this! The more time we spend in these woods, the more danger our students are in! Yes, your ridiculous blustering isn't helping you. The best I can do is take you into custody here and bring you in myself. I remember the day you were born, Thorbound. And I remember the day you were exiled. Oh shit. So, um... <laughs> Elza, what, what's going on? <laughs> and she sort of just like, she's like looking back and forth, not really what sure what to do. Brahm says, <laughs> Well, let's see if it took. Come on, bring it. And he sort of steps into a battle stance, swinging his mace. Brom, do you or are want you to all ta- Are you all barking no bite, huh? Sorry, say Adrian's that again, gonna... Tether. Oh. It's okay, if you didn't hear Tether, he's in a situation. Tether's not talking loud. It's okay. What is Adrian gonna do then? Adrian's gonna look for Elitha and say... Or look to Elitha and say, Listen, I leave this in your hands. I trust cooler heads prevail here, but if I have to fight, I will. I, uh, Brum, this is not the most pressing matter at the moment. I can take them. I, perhaps it would be best. He says, This isn't... <laughs> this isn't about whether or not we get there safe. This is a matter of pride. You know what? I've stayed quiet about this long enough. It wasn't my fault that they got out. And to pin the blame on me, it's unjust! Now this is Brum. Your petty, petty problems with our home will have to wait until we fulfill our responsibility as teachers. That sort of softens him a little bit. Gods. At this point, a horrible sound will begin to emanate through the forest. Um... Oh, yeah, baby. A horrible warbling keen will sound throughout the court. The earth shakes beneath your feet as this otherworldly and unsettling sound echoes all around you. Far in the distance behind you, you can hear the sound of the wall's alarm going off. Brom and Elitha look, look you in the eyes, Adrian, and all three of you know what's happening. Brom and Elitha simultaneously said, Grim and held. Um, any pretense of anger that Brom held towards you, Erdrin, uh, is almost instantly gone. Um, you know, you know of Grimmenheld, you know the threat he poses, and it's likely you're gonna need all the help you can get to survive this night now. Well, you know as well as I do what's about to happen. But why? I put this quarry aside. But why? What, what caused this? And you hear a voice from Tether's bag uh, ring out and say, hmm, it seems as though uh, our little friend has caught on to my presence. <laughs> Oops. I thought... I thought... Yeah, I did not put him in, in my bag. Room. No, you didn't. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't mean it's not there. Hey, as you look in your bag, the hourglass sure as hell is sitting in the bottom of your bag. 
Uh, do I hear that as well? Oh, yeah. What is that? Ugh. I didn't put him in my bag. We found a talking hourglass. And you brought it into the Withered Queen's court? I didn't think we did. Oh, I invited myself, my dear elven friend. <laughs> now, either this Grimmenheld creature will come and destroy us here, or you can take us to safety. The choice is yours. I feel like inviting yourself into a Feywild place is like a huge no, no But I guess we did the same thing. Never mind. Um. <laughs> uh, Brom. Brom's gonna go over to you, Tether, and says, say, I don't know what happened, but give me it. I'm sorry. And it's not your fault, I can imagine. What the hell is this? All right, Thornbound. We'll take this, we'll distract him. Uh, bluster aside, you know, her and I have a better chance of stopping this thing than you do. You need to get them to the grove. Get them safe. Well, best of luck. Like, we'll need it. Uh, and for the first time, most of you see Brom legitimately smile. He seems weirdly excited about this. Well, the rest of you, with me. Uh, Elephant puts a hand on your shoulder, um, Adrian, and says, Keep them safe, at all costs. As is my duty. Um, she, uh, she nods, and then Brom and Elpha start sprinting off towards the east. Uh oh. Uh... Uh, yeah, and they took the they, hourglass? They took the hourglass uh, with them. So now it is the five of you and Shandi's body sitting in a clearing as um, all around you the court begins to um, react to this horrible keening sound that is echoing throughout the entire um, throughout the entire forest. The spiked vines and petrified flora that were before simply creepy are now dangerous. The entire, entire court seems to be writhing in agony. Plants swinging around wildly. New vines exploding out of the ground at random places. Old ones diving back in and destroying the uh, petrified trees uh, near them. The... Your surroundings are no longer safe. It's unwise to stay here for long. We should move, and quick. Okay. Who's carrying Shandi? Okay, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll pick up the body. <laughs> you, yeah, he's, he's surprisingly light. It was a lean, it was a lean guy. I got plus lean one lean. strength, I'll be and, mo and most of his blood is currently gone, so. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right. Like a pizza jerky. <laughs> <laughs> this cat boy empty. Yeet! Yeet. <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah. And you, you begin making your way um, eastward towards the grove with Adrian uh, le uh, leading you. Um, you... Erdrin, you know that the grove is a little under a quarter of a mile away, so you have quite the trek to make still. Um, but moving at a quick pace, you you wager you can get there before too long. Um, as you're going, as as you're sprinting through through the undergrowth, it is growing and exploding all around you. There is just this, and the horrible sound continues to echo through through all of your brains, <coughs> bouncing off of the trees, um, and. Just making the whole thing a wholly unpleasant experience. Um, yeah. are, are, are the plants saying anything at all? Or the plants are dead. I... All yeah, of these okay. plants, every single one of the plants that you see here is dead. Um, okay. Whatever is animating them is not life. It is something else, something you're not familiar with. Um, cool. What is, however, saying something is the hourglass that is back in your bag somehow. No. Oh, you thought you could just get rid of me that easily? No, 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 we're together. You saved me. I have yet to repay your debt. No, thank you. No, oh, come off it. I, I am good to my word. Mm. You won't be rid of me. 
until I've paid you back for what you've done for me. It's back. Hmm. I'm hesitant to bring you into the grove with that in your possession, but there's a chance our leader would know what to do with it. Uh, Erdrin, what is it? Yeah. The hourglass? I assume, I assume we're moving as we have this conversation. You're, yeah, you're running through the forest yeah. that is basically erupting all around you. Yeah. I don't know much about that hourglass. I know that it's dangerous. I know that it shouldn't be in these woods. And I know that its presence is going to bring the wrath of Grimmenhell down upon us. And who's Grimmenheld? To meet Grimmenheld is to meet your death. Cool. Sounds like there'll be grim in hell to pay. No. <laughs> says who? Says Una. <laughs> Una says nope. <laughs> hmm. Cool. Well, unless someone else wants to be a, a distraction, we should keep moving. Yeah, you you do so. Can we talk as we move? I'm sorry, I told you cut off at least for didn't cut off for me. You should keep moving, you just said. Hello? Yeah. Can we talk while we move? Yeah. Can you not hear us, Michael? I, don't I don't think, think we lost I don't Michael. think Michael can hear us. You guys keep uh, cutting off. Yeah, I think we're losing Michael. Uh, disconnect and reconnect. Tether! Um, we lost Tether. It's <sighs> the so, hourglass. It's the hourglass. It's the hourglass. So, Eredrin, how do you know Brahmin Elitha? Brahmin Elitha? are from here, or at least Elitha is, from was adopted, more or less. They, or Brahm was exiled when I was very young, and well, he shouldn't be here anymore. Not much else to say about them. As I said, I was very young. Uh, I, I see. Do, do you know why he was exiled? Probably Only surprised. whispers. He let something or some things through the portal and caused and I just sort of gestures around. Whoa. Sorry, I should not be smiling. Um, that, yep. Whoa. Oh. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can understand my hesitation in allowing him in these parts anymore. Huh. So, like, this is all looks like this because of Brom? No. This was here before. He just let some other stuff Oh, out. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, no. It was like this, but... He certainly made things worse. <clears throat> much worse. And as it if is. on cue, when you say much worse, a uh, she... <laughs> bursts out of the ground behind you. Um, crawling out of the dirt is a large creature similar in shape to a dragon, but composed of twisted vines, thorny briars, and rotted wood. Adrian, you recognize this as an aspect of Grimmenheld, uh, a mere imitation, not nearly encompassing its full strength. You have, however, seen one of these tear apart a squad of 30 rangers before finally being put down by Aether Veerwarden, the grove's strongest combatant, as it was caught in the protective ward of the grove. So you know that this thing is both not to be trifled to, and it cannot harm you if you enter the grove. Um, it is about 90 feet away from you as it <laughs> crawls its way up out of the ground. Um, it looks around blindly, for it has no eyes. Um, before focusing its attention on, um, on, yeah, on you. Um, you have a choice here. Fight or flee. Is it, uh, between us and the grove? No. Okay. Tether chose flee. <laughs> <laughs> Tether ran. Um... Yeah, it is 90 feet behind you, the grove to the west of you, and the grove is about a quarter of a mile to the east of you. I would choose flee. Flee. Yes, we should make haste towards the grove as fast as possible. Yep. It can't hurt us there. 
right. Before Let's we run. before we jump into this, Sorry. can you hear us, Michael? Um, guys, I I don't want to mess up the flow. I just you guys, I can't understand anything. I think I'm just gonna restart my laptop. I'll make it quick. All right. And we'll take a quick pause of Rooney here while Michael restarts the laptop. Anything anybody wants to talk about? <laughs> um, I want to talk about Phoenix's hands coming in and out of the back of Chelsea's. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to eat my pizza. Is that why? Is only... that why only like your eyebrows <laughs> and above are visible right now? Yeah, I don't like eating on stream. All right, I feel I feel targeted by that comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't like looking and seeing my teeth or mouth unless I'm like purposely doing it to be annoying. If I'm just like eating, it feels too vulnerable. All right. Tried not looking at yourself? <laughs> no. Leo? <laughs> what are you talking about? Leo's I don't know right. about you guys, but like when I um, stream and I Discord up, I only have my video up. I don't oh, any of you. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't even have my character sheet up. <laughs> <laughs> I just guess. What's a character sheet? <laughs> All right. Um, well, going going into this, Septon, keep in mind that you are carrying Shandi on your shoulder as this bit of a chase sequence occurs. So. Okay. So probably not a lot I can do with my hands. Uh, one of your hands like... holds on to him, but the other one is free, but, you know, just keep it in mind. All right, so, well, I purposely I, made the character I... to have mostly verbal-only spells, so... Adrian, on the scale of 1 to 10, how likely are we able to beat this thing? Zero. Eh, you give him a 1. <laughs> Not even, like, a... What in a half? I don't. I, I. I've never seen these these guys fight. I don't know. That's true. You don't. <laughs> well, you don't I know, know. I could be going up this thing so long. <laughs> you. You could, especially considering one of them is already dead. Um. Cool. Well, in that case, we will begin this chase sequence. Ooh. So let me just sort of lay down the rules for this chase sequence here. So, the way this is going to work, there are two parties in the chase. You all and the axe aspect of Grimmenheld. Um, the way this works is it's similar to that chase that we did back in Fate Breakers on the horses. You remember that? Um, where all of you get to go at the same time. Doesn't really matter what order you go in. Um, and then the other thing goes and we go on like that until it either catches you or you get to your destination. At the start of each turn before any team gets to go, I will be rolling conditions uh, on a table that I generated. Um, the conditions will affect everyone, unless there's specifications in the conditions that make them not affect everyone. And um, you can decide to deal with them on your turn, or you can decide for them to just happen to you. Um, up to you. But either way, you guys will go first as the conditions are being rolled. And I have a little... And there's also going to be some things along the way that don't fit into turn-wide conditions. And we'll get to that when we get to that. But uh, strap in, enjoy the ride, and remember how much movement speed you have. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, as the thing sort of bursts out of the ground and you guys make the quick decision to run away, you turn and begin to run. Um, almost immediately, this shifting forest, um, uh, as you're running through this shifting forest, you um, realize there's a very quick drop in elevation in front of you. I need all of you to make a acrobatics or athletics check, whichever you prefer, to not lose your footing. At disadvantage, right? Yep, because it's exhaustion. Everyone except for me. Except for except for Winfield. The benefit of dying is you're no longer exhausted. Um, question. Has it been longer than an hour since we departed? Yes. Okay. It's a flaccid 20 for me. Cool. It is a 19 for me. Cool. It's a 6 for me. Alright, that's a fail. 7 for me. That's a fail. For who? Michael or me? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I said 10. 10. 10 is good. Uh, so, Una and um, Tether, you stumble and you lose your initial base movement. You could still dash as an action, but your 30 feet of original movement you cannot use on this turn as you are stumbling in this quick drop of elevation. All right, it is your turn. What would y'all like to do? Um... This thing is following you. I'd, I'd classify it as a huge creature. So it's very big, and it's chasing. How, how far out is it? It is uh, 
30, 60. About 90 feet back. 90 feet back? Yeah. I'm gonna use my movement to run. Which I feel like is, doesn't, do we need to say that or? Well, if you're, if you're going to move 30 feet, let me know, yeah. So your movement... Yeah, move. I move 30 feet, and cool. then as an action, it might be a little tricky to cast a spell while carrying Shandi. Sure. Um, good idea. Yeah. Um, on myself, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability to get um, Bull's Strength. Okay. Well, double my carrying capacity to make carrying Shandi not difficult. A breeze. Cool, yeah. You, you run forward a little bit and you... you uh, I hope this to not be hard at all. You bulk up. Uh, cool. What about the rest of you? I'm gonna wait until after Una and Tether okay. catch up or do what they do. Um, I am also gonna keep moving, but I, I have... Not that it makes that much of a difference, but I do have 35 movement. Cool. It's fine. So you're so you're I'm, always I'm just a step ahead. <laughs> Alright, so that's I... that's your movement. What would you like to you have an action if you'd like to take it? You could dash, you could you do whatever you want. Um Oh, I should warn you, actually, this is something you know. Uh in order to enter the grove, a person must be blessed by the grove. You know the grove's blessing? Fucking server is disconnected? That's not what I like to see. Um, you know the Grove's Blessing? You know about it? Um, you, it takes an action to bestow the blessing on an individual. Okay. Um, since I'm right next to Septon, then I'll bless him. Cool. Septon is... Does that blessed. apply to corpses, too? Or no, that's... People? The corpse is more of an object at this point. Okay. So cool. Doesn't matter. Enjoy your blessing, Septon. Uh... Can I dash dash? Action bonus action? <laughs> yeah, you can You can double dash on account of... Uh, I don't want to fuck with that. <laughs> I'm running. Cool. Well, my fucking... And I'll just dash. Map then. tracker is dead. Um, are you guys still connected? Mm -mm. I'm connecting. I still haven't been able fucking to connect. Are we, are we using the map for this? Shit, dog. I'm using the map for this, and there will be times during this that you need to use the map. All right, oh, no. Starting another uh -oh. server, connect to it. Has your IP changed? No. It's just the internet is clearly not doing a great job right now. It's because we're about to enter the I month of connected. March, and we all know what happened last March. <laughs> happened last March. <laughs> people, a lot of people started using the internet at once. <laughs> Very true. Why? Uh, I'm connected, but all I see is It's fine. You you don't need to. You don't really need to see anything. All right. So, Una's yeah. Una's double dashing for sixty feet. Tether is doing a dash for thirty feet. Um, Erdrin went oh my God. thirty feet and helped uh, Septon out. And turn. What do you want to do? Uh, Tether made it thirty feet. Yep. So I'm gonna move thirty feet with my regular movement, and then I'm going to. Um. <clears throat> Could I? I don't... Mm -mm -mm -mm. I guess I'll just take the dodge action. Okay. You take the dodge action. Oh no, I goofed it. One sec. I hate this. Um, you take the dodge action. Awesome. Uh, this creature is going to begin to sprint after you, and it makes it. It seems to be just about as fast as you. Um, so, yeah. Um, so 30 feet away from me and Tether? No, it's 60 feet away from you and Tether. Because it's 90 feet, or might have been 120 okay. feet back. I don't know. Uh, you, it is 60 feet behind Eredrin, Septon, Turn, and Tether. Una is 30 feet ahead of everybody. Um, cool. As we head into the next round, I roll for conditions, and nothing is abnormal about this next stretch of road, so you can act as normal. All right, let us sprint. Um, I want to put the blessing on Tether and then use my movement. All right. Uh, turn, you're sprinting. You're, you're doing a move and then dash for 60 feet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait till everyone else goes, though, I think. Okay. 
Or is everybody else I will, I will move and dash. Cool. This is probably gonna fail, but why not? Can the creature make a con save? What are you casting? Blindness slash deafness. Yes, it can. Uh, its constitution save is a 15. Uh, fuck, I may have met it. Sorry for cursing on this stream. How dare you curse on this stream? We're famously oh, no. family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's your Wait, action. One second, I'm, I'm sorry. Does anyone remember the last campaign? Did I have one set, like, second level spell slot or two? Because if I'm clicking it, it says two. If I'm not clicking it, it says one. On the last session? I yeah. do not know. I hate this thing so much. What, what Let's I... see, I remember you used Fog Cloud, Long Strider. Yeah, I have zero first level spells. Um, I cast Pass without a Twitch. Did I cast another second level spell? What second level spells do you have? One. Uh, prepared, um, blindness, deafness, gentle repost, heat metal, pass without a trace, healing spirit, moonbeam. No, nope, you didn't cast another one. Okay, so I have one, I guess. Cool. Thank you guys, and I'll run 30 feet. Cool. Yeah. I'll run 30 feet, and I will ready the, uh, ready the, I don't know, can I ready an aid action in case Tether needs to do something? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Help? Is it help an action? Yeah, I'm ready yeah. to help. You can aid someone's check, or you can do the yeah. help action. That's that's a thing. That's a thing you can do. Cool. Uh, this thing is going to sprint forward sixty more feet. It is closing in on you guys. Um, oh, Una, you didn't go yet. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna go. I guess my full movement, which would be movement Wait. dash double dash. Yeah. So thirty. 60. No, 25. Oh, yeah. You don't go yeah. as fast as everybody else. So, so full would be 75. 75. All right. That's fine. Um, yeah. So, Una, you come up to the edge of something that I will describe in just a moment here. Oh, um, shit. And I die. No. But you do <laughs> come... You come up to the edge of a section of the forest where night falls more heavily here than it does other places and dark magics make it hard to navigate. Um, you're not in it yet, but you're about to step into it. Erdrin, you recognize this as the Gloaming Grove. Uh, there's a possibility, and I will, or you will roll for it, uh, that you might start making your way backwards on accident while in this stretch. Um, cool. I will roll for the next set of conditions. Cool. A dense brush whips into place that wasn't there before. Um, all of you are blinded for this turn, including the creature. Uh, what would you like to do? Mm. I guess. I mean, I'll wait and see, just like before. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll move dash. Cool. Turns right up on me, right? Uh, turn is, yeah, right. You guys are in the same zone-ish at this point. Okay. As far as lateral um, movement is concerned right now, it doesn't really matter. It's 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 forward movement that I'm keeping track of. Does blind have any effect on me bestowing the blessing? Uh, it does not. Okay, cool. I'm going to bestow the blessing, and then I'm going to eat with my movement. Cool. Uh, turn, Septon, could... Una. What are y'all up to? I'm going to attempt to keep moving in the same direction. All right. Yeah, you you're able to. Yeah, um, and I will, I will action dash. Cool. So, How? boom. All right, so Septon, you have made your way into the Gloaming Grove. You, oh, you, no. you made it into there. Uh, so on your next movement, there will be a chance that you move backwards instead. Uh, Una. Ooh. How far ahead of me, how far ahead of them am I? Uh, you're... Septon just passed me. Septon just passed you, yeah. And... Is anyone else behind me? Uh, Tether's sort of caught up with you, turns a ways back, and Airdrin is right behind you. I haven't moved yet, though, so don't worry about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just didn't want to f run too far ahead. Then I'll... Technically, we're all moving to the oh, same time. Oh, thank you for the follow! Yeah. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, then I will... Your cast for zero. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the party, Dungeon. All right. Sorry, continue. I'll keep going, but I'm just going to do 50 feet, just because okay. now I'm scaled. Cool. So I need you 
to as you move the initial 25 feet forward. Yep. I need you to now roll a d20 for me. Here we go. Guys, I stole these dice from a cute boy, and they're Una dice because they're just black and white. Oh, that's nice. Focus on it. Yeah. But I didn't let you in. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a five. Cool. Uh, well, none of you. <laughs> okay. Cool. Something happens. You're not sure what it is. Great. <laughs> uh, turn. All right. I'm gonna move dash. Catch up to tether. Uh, cool. And as the turn ends, Una, you realize you ran into the gloaming, uh, the gloaming grove, and ran straight back out of it. You are now headed backwards towards the creature. All right. Uh, Erdrin. Um. Oh, is this the night? I already went this turn. Oh, you already went this yeah. turn? Rumble. Yeah, I moved up and I moved. I slapped my thing on. All right. And I moved up. The creature runs up. It is now directly behind you. Um, it can't Rumble. attack you because it used its action to dash, but it is right the fuck behind you. Mm, shoot. I didn't realize I was passing Adrian. I, um, I was personally trying to be in the back, but mm. that's fine. All right. Uh, we will roll next conditions. Um. I have rolled it. One second. The next conditions I have rolled. Sorry, I'm having to rewrite some of this map that I'm using right now because every time map tool crashes, it goes away, um, which is why I seem a little distracted. Cool. As you uh, continue to run forward, a large boulder appears in the way. Uh, or actually, no, nothing. You're in the gloaming court, so nothing happens this turn. You're like right. You're right there. Um, this is this is the main problem you have to deal with. Well, we'll say, Erdrin, in front of you, a boulder sort of just boof, boof, lands, and you gotta deal with that. All right, what's everybody else doing? Um, I'm gonna guide Erdrin. Is guidance, what's the range on guidance? The range on guidance is, oh fuck, that's stupid. I had, a, I have like, my, I had a whole, whole spell list up on Google Chrome, and then it had to fucking restart my fucking thing, and then... Also, um, it's the worst thing ever, because I had to restart my computer. Guys, it's touch, by the way. It's touch, yeah, it's touch. Okay, so Never then mind. you are not close enough yeah. to him to do yeah, that. Yeah, 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 no, sorry. Um, also, um, I, I, I lost my uh, Dolly Parton character sheet, so that's nice. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, Okay, can uh, the thing roll another con save? For blindness, deafness? Yes, it can. Yeah. Ooh, that's not very good. That's a six. It is blind. Cool. It is blind. Hopefully that does something and doesn't have, uh, what's the, the blind sense? Uh, does it have blind mm -hmm. sense? It... Well, you don't know. Yeah, that's why I said hopefully. Yeah. And then I'll go 30. Uh, cool. You will head 30 forward into the gloaming uh, thing. Cool. Uh, what about the rest of y'all? I have a question about this boulder. Yeah. Can I just walk around it? Uh, I would require an athletics check for you to get around it. It, like, rapidly falls in front of you. Okay. Um, I can do that then. Cool. Athletics check? That's a nat 20. Yeah, you, you dart over it. It does not affect your movement in the slightest. And... Am I near Una now? Uh, you she are... back out? Yeah, Una sort of ran back out. She's still a couple feet in front of you, though. Okay, but I'm you just could, gonna... You could bless her. Use my movement to get to her and bless her. Cool. You bless Una. Awesome. So, since the big void did an opportunity attack, I'm assuming that doesn't have blind sense? Because it wasn't uh, right up on Adrian? It was. But it didn't attack him, so... Mm. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to keep moving through the gloaming. Roll a d20. Okay. Well, tell me how far you're intending to move, and then roll a d20. I, if possible, I'm gonna move. Oh, I don't know how deep it is. Do I? Um, I'm gonna tr try to move my full movement. Okay, so 60. Um, roll a d20 for me. Oh, I meant. 30. Can I can I move 30 and then use my action to go the other 30 if I end up? Sure, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Try to go 30. That is a 17. 17. You run forward 30 feet and you find yourself on the other side of the gloaming uh, the gloaming grove. Oh. 
Cool. Yeah, it's, it's just 30 feet long. All right, then can I use my action to go another yeah. 30 feet? Then you can dash forward another 30 feet. Cool. Una, turn. Well, Erdren, sorry, you only wanted. Yeah, you move forward 30 feet and then you did that. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turn. So Adrian's now caught up to me. Yeah. Adrian, turn, and Una right. are all together right now. All right, I'm going to pull out my bow and I'm going to fire a shot at this creature. All right, go ahead. Make an attack roll. Um, I get advantage because it's blind, correct? Yep. Actually, sorry, I'm going to just launch a javelin at it. Cause... Okay. Three. <laughs> Long javelin number one, uh, with advantage. That is a. What's its name? This thing is so slow. The javelin or the, the creature? The the javelin. Uh, the die roller thing. Uh, with an uh, 18. 18. 18 javelin. just hits. Go ahead and roll some damage. So it's going to do. Um, plus two, eight points of damage, just normal damage, but the birds are gonna attempt to push it back. It has to roll a strength saving throw. Cool, and it will. Woof, it is not rolling great. 13. Oh, just makes it. It's rolling good enough. It takes some damage, and the birds sort of like batter off of it. A couple of the birds just get shredded on the, the spine sticking out of it. Okay, and then with my movement. Uh, I don't know if I want to hold... I don't know if I want to leave you behind, Adrian. Um, so should I go on ahead? Yes, you're blessed, so you should be able to get into the grove. Don't worry about me. All right. I won't go too far. I'm going to move forward 30 feet. We're cool. going to lose another Winfield character. <laughs> you are into the gloaming court. Uh, Uno, what do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna try to run another 50 feet. All right, roll that d20 as you go the first 25 into... 13. 13, you're good. <gasps> and come out the other side. Whee! All right, the creature is gonna run up and having heard the conversation between um, Erdren and Turn a moment before, know that there is a target there. It's gonna attack at disadvantage three times at Erdren. It's actually gonna attack one time at Erdrin because it rolled a fucking that one um, and eats hey. shit. So basically, it runs for it knew it knew you were there. It did not know the rock was there. As it runs forward and attempts to swipe at you, its chest just like shatters on this rock. Uh, it only s briefly slows it down as it starts to reform itself around the other side of the rock. But Erdrin, you are safe from damage this turn. All right. Is it Adrin or Erdrin? Yeah. Adrian, there's Sorry. no R. My bad. <laughs> Adrian. Juggling Air a lot Drin here. It's R. Water Drin. All right. Fire Drin. Fire. So the, the condition. Long ago. <laughs> <laughs> the four Adrians. <laughs> uh, the Harmony. Con uh, the condition for uh, this one is the aspect, as it's sort of forming around the rock, releases a thorn volley at each and every single one of you. Um, we will roll as these thorns come down uh, we will roll to attack so tether against you woof well over 20 yeah okay um, turn 15 mm -hmm. um, Erdrin A Adrin <laughs> fuck it's Arwen oh, you're right uh, 14, Adrian. Oh, 14? No. Cool. That's a miss on you. Una? 15? Yeah. And Septon? Flaccid 20. Uh, do I get any AC from the cargo? You don't. <laughs> you do block. not. <laughs> you can't body block with Shandi's corpse. All right. Those of you. Ooh, those of you got hit take 12 points of piercing damage. Uh, the creature Ouch. is not able to move this turn, however. What would you all like to do? I'd like... Oh, somebody mm. else go first. Well, so who's on the other side? Uh, Erdrin is the only one behind the gloaming, uh, gloaming grove. Uh, turn and Tether are inside the gloaming grove right now. So me and Septon are Yeah, you're outside. out. Uh, and you do see, I can tell you now, you do see coming up in front of you a 30-foot chasm. Um, 
It's it's about 60 feet. Well, it begins about 60 feet away from where Septon is right now. 90 feet from where you are, Una. Well. Uh. How are we going to cross that? Yeah. Uh, there are trees and vines overhanging it, but there is pretty much no ground. Well, I'll run to the edge of it. Cool. Yeah, you're able to. No use and didn't. Ugh. Um, I'll do. I'll do the full seventy-five. Cool. Yeah, you you make it up pretty close to the uh, to the edge there. Uh, rest here. Mm-hmm. Anybody doesn't have to be septed. How far? How far ahead is it? Uh, if you run your full sixty feet, you will be at the very edge of it. All right. Well, I might as well do that. Cool. Um, turn tether, Adrian. Um, I want to cast ensnaring strike on the aspect. Cool. Uh, tell me how that works. So it's an attack roll. If I hit, um, it has to succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by vines. All right. Go ahead and make that attack. Nat 20. Nat t- nice. Critical. Is this with your spear? How are you attacking it? It's, it's with my spear, yeah. Cool. So it's going to take the spear damage, um, which is going to be... Uh, 13 piercing damage. 13 piercing damage, nice. And, and then it has to make a strength saving throw. Oh my god. 12. Um, that I assume is against my spell DC, right? Yep. Or, um, okay, yep, no, it doesn't make it. Cool, so, uh, as... Yeah, Erdren, you as you sort of take a couple of... No, you don't take thorns, you dodge out of the way, right? Um, as you yep. duck under the thorns, you whip around, uh, swinging your spear as vines from the forest sort of wrap around it. As it strikes into the wing of this thing, the vines explode outward and lock it down. When is it able to make saves on that? Um, it has to use its action to make a strength check. Cool, and it's used its action already this turn. And it's also going to take a d6 piercing damage at the start of each turn. Sounds good. All right. The... All right and then I'm going to use my movement to go into the... the... Cool. You are now in the uh, the gloaming grove. Tether, turn. What are you up to? Uh, guess you can move forward. Cool. Roll the twenty. One. All right. You move thirty feet backwards as you run out, and you see Erdren running in, and you're a little bit confused. Oh, that was a. Can crap. I dash? Uh, yeah, you can dash right back in. <laughs> Uh, that was a crit. Was that not the full damage? No, yeah, it should have been 22 damage total. Yep. All right, I'll add that. Cool. Um, turn. Um, you're surrounded by darkness. All right, I'm just gonna try and push forward then. All right, roll d20 for me. One crit fail. Yep, you push your way forward, and it turns out that you've pushed your way back. You and Tether do virtually the same thing at the same time. Well, then I'm going to dash and try to go back through again. And you're back in. All right, top of the next round. Rolling for conditions. Wait, can we um, can we hold hands the second time so we don't lose each other? <laughs> that, you did it at the same the time, way? so that's true. You can do that. Um, but if one of us rolls well and the other one doesn't roll well... Maybe that will help. But like, we wouldn't know which one of us rolls well. So Blake would randomly choose which one of us is right, and then would it hurt us even more? You can shake. You can shake off my hand holding. It's fine. <laughs> no, can... I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold your hand. All right, you hold hands and you run back in. Uh, nothing of note <laughs> seems to happen. Um, everybody, y'all, y'all's turn. Uh... All right, tether. You want to go for it? At the same time, we're holding hands. How else? All right, one of <laughs> one of you roll a d twenty. I don't care which. 
19. All right, you make your way forward and there's no monster here, so you have to guess that you went the right way. I still feel like we went the wrong way. I don't know. Well, you see Una and Septon ahead of you, standing <laughs> at the edge of her pit. Way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, we are? <laughs> no, we're I'm, not. I'm also going to try to make it through. All right, D20. Yep. Um, That's a nine. Boop. Oh shit, dragon right in front of you again. <laughs> All right, I'm going to dash back in. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's restrained, so it is going to take an attack at disadvantage against you of opportunity. Isn't it? Oh, blinded it's blinded still? too, so it can't do that. Yeah. Because it hasn't, well, it can also hasn't made the checks for that. Until, yeah. Is it an action or is it a check at the end of its turn? I, I Honestly, I think it's a check at the end of this turn. I said action out of nothing. Cool. I'll, I'll look it up just to be sure because that will... I have it reloading already. ...distinctly matter. Uh, I, got an app, I got an app for it. App. Although it is taking a long time. Uh, either end way, of turn. doesn't attack you. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Doesn't attack you, but you do just dash back into there. All right. Septon and Una. Oh, also turn and tether if there's anything else you want to do. You still have your action. You want to keep dashing? Okay. All right, still so holding hands, you dash forward again, and you are almost caught up to Septon and Una, who are sitting, are standing at the edge of a deep precipice with vines <laughs> and trees. Just sitting. Oh, yeah. feet dangling. It's, like, it's the end. This is it. Have this is how it drink. ends. Una, do yep. you have any ideas? <laughs> uh, you um, said there's vines and things. Yeah. Yeah, can I see if any of them vines are looking sturdy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, make a nature check real quick. A nature? <laughs> can I help? Yeah. I don't think Do only a couple advantage. Pokemon have the ability sturdy. Natural 20 nature check. Natural 20 nature check. Yeah, you pick out several vines that look fairly sturdy. I would like to climb across. All right, athletics. Athletics. You know, at the beginning of this campaign, I took expertise in athletics. <laughs> it's finally paying off! Wow. And after Blast Ball, this is the first time it's paid off. <laughs> 14. 14 is enough to climb your way over. It does take a while. The... And it's not disadvantaged because I have the bull's strength. Oh yeah, you're, you're super right. So yeah, you it's are about normal. halfway, you are about halfway across the ravine at this point. Um, you're not in any danger of falling, but you didn't make it all the way across. Okay. Uh, Una. Can I sort of track uh, Septon's path and try to copy yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Uh, you, just judging based off of what vines he's picked, you're able to pick similarly good vines, but you will need to make an athletics check as well to come across. Athletics unless you're trying to do, sure? Unless you're trying to do some sort of like weird swingy trick across, in which case, tell me what it is and it might be acrobatics. I don't really want to... <sighs> I'm looking oh, yeah. at my sheet. Sh You're holding Shondi with your legs at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. Hey, he not 20 It's yeah. fine. He just throws no, he throws Shondi the out above the chasm, jumps, catches him in his legs while doing a backflip and catches onto some of the vines. Like I'm on I'm 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 roided out right now, okay? <laughs> He is. Wow. He's not any bigger than he usually would be, but all of his muscles are, like, way more defined. Yeah. And there's steam coming out of his nose. Okay. Well. Mm. <laughs> I'm not trying to do any flippy shit. I just want to get across. Yeah, that'll be athletics, then, if you're climbing oh. vines across. If you do flippy oh, no. shit, that's acrobatics. Well, uh, this has happened before. What happens if... I roll a one in my disadvantage. I can still re-roll it. Did we ever rule on that? Well, because technically the one would be the thing that you were getting, so you would re-roll the one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can always re-roll the one. So it, it still counts as your dis. Like, so basically you roll two dice, and if one of them's mm -hmm. a one, you re-roll that. You don't re-roll with disadvantage again. You just re-roll right, that. Right. Right. Okay. okay. Oh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Good enough. Ooh. You're about halfway across as well. Thank goodness. Um, and Eredrin, you, you did the back and forth, didn't you? Yeah, so I'm still in the moon. Cool. Uh, on its turn, it is going to take d6 well, damage. You can roll that. I know. Yeah, because you guys dashed. Yeah, That's five yeah. damage. Cool. And it rolls a fucking nine to get out of its situation. Nope. Of its predicament. Still all tangled up. How about yeah. it's blind? And we're going to roll about blind as well. 
Oh, that's probably better. It's a con save? Yeah. 18. Yeah. It is no longer blind, but it also can't see any of you at the moment. <laughs> um, and that is its turn. All right. Uh, your guys' turn. You're both you're dealing with some stuff, so there are no additional conditions this turn. Um, what would you like to do? All of you. Um, I'll go last this turn because I really have to use the bathroom. But, okay, uh... go for it. I will attempt to get across the chasm. Yep, using the rest of your movement, you manage to jump down across the rest of the chasm. Oh, I don't have to roll for the rest of the... You do not. You rolled good enough for the first one. Dope! Oh. <laughs> get me out of here. Yeah. I've got the payload, I'm just fucking going. I keep going. Alright, and you as well, sort of, just get up. You you meet up with Shandi on the other side. Exception. Yeah! Well, Sean D, too. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> yep. Right, turn and tether. I'd like to use both our both our actions to just, like, talk about how we've been dealing with the trauma of losing a friend. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I haven't had a lot of time to process it yet, and I'm afraid of what will happen when I do. Yeah, I feel like me internalizing it will make me really believe it was my fault. So would you like was. to take a turn or no? <laughs> I think my action was taken already, so I don't know if I'm I mean, if the answer is no, that's fine. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can, t we can move and talk at the same I time. I guess I'll run. But like, is it really All right. introspection if you're not taking action? I'm sorry. 30 feet to the edge of the, to the, of the thing for you guys, so... Your movement, your base Michael, movement takes you up to the edge of the precipice. RP, it will be fine. Yeah, don't worry. Who, has, who hasn't gotten across yet? Uh, the two of you and you don't see Adrian. Adrian, you don't know where he is. I can't okay. say his name. Fuck is our Adrian. I want to, if it's possible, Adrian. use Thanks. my action to help Tether on this athletics check by getting down and doing like the little, yeah. like put your foot in my hand thing and tossing. Go Wait, I wanted to use my action to cast guidance on you to help you across. Okay, you guide me to help you. Help me help you. <laughs> okay, so who's doing what then? All right, you know what? What probably happens here because you had that inclination is you bend down to help Tether up and Tether oh, no. casts guidance on you and nobody goes anywhere. <laughs> Tether, Tether just wants to run and jump. <laughs> You're supposed to be guided. <laughs> I am guided. Uh, guided by the light. Adrian, You're Adrian, what you doing? I'm gonna try to get out of here again. Alright, roll d20. Oh, the two most stupidly selfless people. <laughs> My third nat 20, right? That was a nat 20? Maybe you should play Adri Adrian forever. Alright, yeah, you with 30 feet, you make it out on the other side of the uh, the thing. Alright, and then I'm gonna run a section dash to cool. get... Up. Yeah, you're about 30 feet behind Tether and Turn, who are, like, trying to help each other up onto the vine at the same time. Alright, roll that damage for the, the thing for this guy. Six damage. Six damage, and he rolls a... 11. Nope. Holy shit, dude. Problem solved. <laughs> um, Cool, yeah, you hear it wailing and roaring from behind you, but... You doubt that it got free. Um, all right. Next up, let's... Uh, yeah, next up, the no conditions, because you are here. All right, go, Tether. I'll follow. No, I don't need help. My feature, Nimble Climber, oh, gives right. me a climbing feat equal to my walking speed. I have the cat ears. I also have a climbing feat. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> <Yeah. Ooh, boy. laughs> <laughs> and you both, with ease, oh. make your way across the chasm and catch up to Septon and Una instantly. Okay, where's, where's Adrian? It, uh, Adrian's a little ways back. How far back from the crevice can I see him? Uh, 30 feet. Yeah, you can see him. He's 30 feet. He has 30 feet of movement until the beginning of the crevice. I'm waiting for Adrian. Ears so bad. Okay, cool. Yeah, at the end. Yeah, me too. Okay, okay. so you wait. Adrian, you go first. Yeah, I'll, I'll use my movement to get caught up. You get caught up? Also, we were still holding hands while climbing. I'm sure. It was it was an exercise. Yeah, and it's easy for you guys. <laughs> There's literally no challenge at all in this in this feat for you. All right, you guys, the two of you make it across. Adrian, you got an action left. Anything you want to do? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Can I use my action to cross or is that movement? Uh, yeah, action to to climb and stuff. Yeah. Okay. 
Are you are you just like monkey bars in it, or are you doing tricky flip shit? Um, I'm, still, I'm still here assisting, so uh, if you want, you can oh. sleep off oh. my hands. Oh yeah, you can have okay. advantage because technically they don't need an action to get across; they can just cr yeah. crawl. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll uh, use turn hands as a springboard to do some flippy, tricky shit. Okay, cool acrobatics yeah. at advantage. Oh no, uh, twelve. Twelve. It's enough to not die. But it's not as cool as you'd like. You flip to the middle and you grab on, um, and definitely some of your like gear falls into the ravine beneath you. But nothing super crucial. Uh, I will. I will say. I will say. Get uh, remove an item for your character sheet um, that has fallen into the ravine here. Okay. Ooh. Um. Cool. Also, roll that thing again as this motherfucker tries to. Nah, he doesn't. He doesn't get out. He's stuck. He takes another five damage. He's fucking stuck. But buddy is stuck. All right, it's your guys' turn again. You can see that up ahead of you, about 30 feet away from where you are right now, not you, Adrian, but the rest of the group, uh, the forest sort of condenses down into a tiny, narrow passageway of vines that you will have to probably enter. Yikes. You're fine, Una. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm kidding, because you're tiny. What are y'all doing? Oh. I guess I finished moving across the veins. Yeah. You you made it across the veins in one go. It's a 30-foot chasm. You guys have 30 feet of movement. You're fine. It took them a while because they were climbing, and they don't have a climb speed. How's uh, Adrian doing? Adrian's I'm hanging swimming. onto a vine in the middle. <laughs> Got this, Adrian. Yeah. Is that uh, where we're going? <laughs> it is, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, right. this thing in front of you has never been there before, but the... Uh, the forest in normal times is unpredictable. The court is in normal times is unpredictable. In times like this, anything's game. All right. Yes, keep moving. Movement, action. I'm, I'm cruising. All right. So, as you move forward, and you can all reach it at the top of thirty feet, I am going to ask you to look at the map tool because you are now. Control F. Control I. Did that not work? Control I. Okay. Well, it didn't work. Please let it be a corn maze. It is actually. It literally is. <laughs> the band corn. No. I hate I me so corn. much. Una's triggered. They Chelsea's triggered. I remember corn. A Did bit. you like corn? Uh, I knew of them. I wouldn't say I liked or disliked them. Me neither. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you find yourself as you take the first, your, your dash action into this maze, you're all on top of each other right now. So don't move forward, don't move forward, don't move forward. Come back. Well, I, I still not able to connect to the server, but that's... Well, somebody else can, you, you're holding hands yeah. with, you're holding hands with turn, yeah. so it's fine, he's taking you through. Uh, you do see that this does form a rather narrow maze. Adrian, what would you like to do this time? Um, I wanna get the rest of the way across, if All right. possible. Uh, since you weren't climbing and you were acrobatics thing, I'm gonna need you to make either another acrobatics or athletics check to climb the rest of the way or do some flippy shit the rest of the way. I'm gonna do another acrobatics check. Cool. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a flaccid 20. Yeah, you whip your way down to the other side as you see everybody else running into the maze. All right, and then I'll use my movement to follow. Cool. Uh, you can't quite get into the maze but everybody else has run in in front of you. All right, this thing is going to take another set of damage from you there. It's also going to roll it's fucking better this time. Actually, it did! It still suck. It's still fucking stuck. <laughs> it's, it takes another six damage. Okay, this chase just became a fucking leisurely walk, dog. Um, okay. So, the rest of y'all, I mean, here you are. There's a maze. Uh... uh so you each square here is five feet of movement. I'm gonna ask that you guys only move like one or two squares at a time, though, just for for our own sake. Adrian, do you know the way of the maze, and so should we wait for you to guide us? He, this maze he's never seen before. This is a new maze formed by the danger of the forest. Okay. Does the maze have a roof? Ah, uh, the maze is roofed in. Yes. All right. Well, I guess we just gotta go. All right, count, count, go, count your movement. All right, 5, 10, 15 for you there. And, oh, that looks like a dead yeah, end. Yeah, 15, you can see that that right up there is a dead end. Okay. And we have, do I have our full 30? You have 30 feet, yeah, so that's, you make your All way right. up over to just, there. It's, it's, that way was a dead end. We're going this way. 
are we able to squeeze past each other? Yeah, that's fine. You are able to squeeze past each other in here. It's, okay. it's made it of is now, It is now canon that Tether is terrified of mazes or something, <laughs> and so her eyes are closed. How about that? Yeah. Fair enough, yeah. Just holding holding turn sand, and for that reason, yeah. I will throw you to the back. Is, um... Here's another question. Is yep. when you step when you squeeze past somebody, do those uh difficult terrain That does apply? count as difficult terrain, so it is double movement to squeeze past. Just that one space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, except for you, Una. It's fine for you because that's <laughs> part of you being Alright, so Una, you've moved five feet forward. You got the rest of your movement. Oh, then I guess you know what, Sapton and I will just alternate. Five ten leadership. Cool. Uh wait wait. So that's um, 10 feet. You can see that there are two paths forward. There's one here, and there's one up here. I'll go boop, boop. Five, 10. Yep. So you've moved You've moved 20 feet. You got five 20 more 20 or 25? Oh, you've oh, moved oh. 20, so you have five gotcha, gotcha. more. Wait, no, wait. You have moved 25, Henji. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, that's 25. Yeah. That's your movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Turn. Um... How much moves do you have? Una? 25. 35 yet? I have 25. 25. Don't rogues get bonus move speed? No. Or, Not no, yet. monks do. Monks. Yeah. All right. Silly me. Not uh, yet. Hey, Una, have you gotten faster yet? <laughs> Una. <laughs> Gotta go faster. Hey, hey, turn. How's that intelligence score doing? <laughs> oh, got you. Turn, where are you, where are you leading, uh, Tavon? My intelligence score is too low to be insulted by that. <laughs> All right, Tether, we're going to step forward. That's okay. five. One Bye. step. Um, I'm going to poke my head out uh, and shout, before I move and shout at Adrian. We're going in and to the right. Yeah. All right. I'll be right behind you. Five. Mm. I'm going to squeeze past you. Don't mind me. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? I'm going to slow each other down by squeezing past each other. Someone should take the lead. Um, I'm gonna wait here and ready. I'll just take the dodge action. Okay, take the dodge action. Um, cool. And then the creature makes its turn, takes some more damage. Finally! <laughs> Finally. It is gonna take two more damage before it breaks free, though. Fine, whatever. It definitely breaks through, though, because that's a fucking nat 18, and there's no way you've got better than that. This uh, is. Cool. Sounds good. That's its turn. Now we, uh, yeah, we come back to y'all. Erdrin, you still have 30 feet to get into the, uh, the place. Yep, I'm gonna use my movement to get in. Bop, bop, you are in. So you, you're there on the map. You, can you, you don't have vision, though. Okay. I'm gonna give you vision. <laughs> uh, um, and is this dark vision? Uh, no, it's or... normal. There's, there's, there's enough light sort of seeping through that you can see. Otherwise, Una would be it's literally pretty, pretty fully light. blind. <laughs> no, and like his vines and the yeah, light yeah, yeah. Through, green. The, the moonlight's coming through, making some green light. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Um, that's your movement. You um, got an action if you want it. Uh, I don't know. That, I don't know if there's anything I can really do with my yeah, action. Yeah, fair enough. That's fine. Um, all right, the rest of you. Una, we should probably take you first because you're in the lead. Yeah. Uh. Left or right? Left or straight? Guys. You hear the guys. You hear the creature roaring in the in behind you and starting to begin to give chase again. Just pick one, but mm. make sure we can still see you. We going straight? Ten. Fifteen. Boom, you see two pathways. One here, one here. And then a left. Five, ten. That was it. Cool. Uh, yeah, this is the way out. <laughs> 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 it's not a very hard maze. Okay. A maze on the back of the menu. <laughs> yeah. I just did a random six by six maze generator. No six by six maze is gonna be that hard. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, the rest of y'all. Septon, why don't you go next? Yeah, let's see. So that's five. That's 30. Um, yeah, no, I'll use my action to just 15. Cool. And that, I, I, I guess I make right, it out of the you maze. You make your way, ba-boom, out of the maze. 
You could use your extra dash as well, Una, if you wanted to get out of this maze. Oh, I could. Yeah. I'll, I do that. Cool. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Boo -doo. Boo. All right. Boo. Turn and tether. All right, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Five. Let's go. <laughs> it's okay. Ten. Yeah. Oh, it's only hit. Someone touched my arm. That's, the, that's just me. Are you coming? Oh wait. Um, you can't move. It's fine. Um, she's 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 with you. All right. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. You're going straight. <laughs> 25, 30, now we're dashing. Bye. <laughs> 10. You, you know, you counting out loud is really helping. 20. Oh, we're here. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we're here. here I'll, do really, I'll do a really fun thing for you. Here's the whole maze. It's not, Whoa. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> you solved oh it God, already. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so who cares? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. We could have gotten really messed up. Yeah, if you went the wrong yeah. way, that would have been rough. But you didn't. Been real frustrating. Good job, Una. But you did it. You did it. Um, I, I was about to call out left when you were asking. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Can I shout back the directions we're going? Yeah. I think I could hear. I'll, I could hear Turin saying them out. Loud. Yeah, he's not. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're not all that far away, so mm. not not too bad. Um, cool. Now it is, uh, everybody, Turn and Tether are still in the maze. The two of you are out of the maze. Um, and for that reason, I'm going to roll conditions for the two of you exiting the maze. the maze. Alright. This is the maze. Ooh, okay, so for the two of you, a horrible, thorny, draconic visage forms ahead. I need the two of you to make intelligent saving throws. Oh, um, no. We would have we would have had ten more feet of movement at, at this point. Oh, the then you're out as end. well. So this this also oh, okay. this also affects you. The only That's one it doesn't affect is Adrian. Adrian. Intelligence saving throw. Yeah. Intelligence Eat. saving throw. Here we go. Is this? Oh wait. Okay. I got uh, it. Is this Ace. against frightening? This is against frightening. Yes. Ha ha. Advantage. Nope, five. not better. <laughs> Eight, five, okay. Eleven. Okay. Twenty-two. Cool. Every every one of you is frightened except for Tether. Of this thing a little bit ahead of you. Funny um, enough. Tether. It's okay. Turn. Close Tether. your eyes. Close your eyes, turn. One, two. <laughs> oh. Um yeah, that, honestly, that probably works. Uh, you you um, you are able to drag Turn, who is shivering right now, forward uh, 30 feet. Tether, I can't move my legs. I'll be your legs. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, it's taking a second. The other two of you are unable to move forward. Airdrin! You got you got some movement you could do there, buddy. Yep. All right. One, two, or fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Dash. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Cool. Yeah. Ten move. You here. you are yeah you are out and you are you you see this basically vine that looks like a dragon's face. You see Tether pulling a long turn, who's covering his eyes, and you see Una and Septon, um, just stuck to the ground, unable to move. Okay. Um, cool. You hear a big roar from behind you. Was uh, as the, the the aspect approaches. Okay. Does he have cookies? What? <laughs> oh, because I said roar. Um, cool. Ahead of you, Tether. And you know this also as well, Adrian. Uh, there is the Iceblood River. It is a frigid, deep river, and it is about 60 feet across. Um, uh, Adrian, Adrian, you're still 30 feet away from its banks, but Tether, in turn, you are up on its banks. But I am still going to roll for conditions. Um, cool. A vine erupts from beneath you, Tether and Turn. I need both of you to make dexterity saving throws or be knocked prone. Uh, Turn, you're making this a disadvantage. Uh, 
Four. Five. Okay. You're both boom, 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 knocked prone. Uh-oh. Cool. Uh, the rest of y'all, uh, Una and Septon, the fear, and turn, for that matter, the fear wears off. Um, the, it turns once back more into a vine, and you are free, of its, free of its torment. Okay. Um, I'm, uh... And we just got Ooh. clotheslined. Yeah. All right, can I use half my move speed to stand up? Yes, you can. <sighs> can I do that, too? Yep. Who's in the lead now? Not that uh, it's a race. Turn and, turn and Tether are about 30 feet in front of all of you guys at the the bank of a river standing up. Uh, Does it look like there's a way across besides swimming, or we just have to swim? Uh, you can make an investigation check if you want. All right, I squint. <laughs> Roll it. This is with disadvantage. Because my eyes are so tired, they won't open anymore. Eight. Uh, eight. Not that you can tell. I guess we're going swimming. That was my action. Take a investigation check. No, I'll call that free. For free? Dang. I know. Never. Nobody ever said I wasn't generous. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do the same thing as last time, um, where I'm going to kneel down and get ready oh, to Damn walk. it. I was about to say I kept guiding. <laughs> and <funny>. again, <laughs> you do the same thing. <laughs> well, this time it's not just for Tether. It's for anyone else catching up. I'm getting ready to the next person who reaches me. Oh, I'm so rather than ahead. using the help action, you're going to prepare the, the help action. I'm going to prepare it so oh. the first person who would like can run to me and get it. All right. And I'm speaking running. Of, speaking of those people, yeah, Una, you next? Cool. I'm running. <laughs> All right, I, hope you, I'm not, I hope we're supposed to go in the river because I sure as hell just tossed you Yeah, in. you throw Una right into that river there. Una, you spoosh, splash into the river and it is bone chilling. Um, it is incredibly cold. I need you to make an athletics check or a constitution saving throw first to not freeze up from the shock. Uh-oh. That's a five. You freeze up from the shock and begin to drift down the river. Um, <laughs> that's, that's your turn. All right, Septon and Adrian. I'll use my movement to get up to the river. Yep. And then I'll try to... Can I try to swim across? Yeah, con save. Uh, I have the... I have the dead bodies float, right? Dead bodies do float. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's... That's a, uh, that's a, okay, that's a four on the con save. You also pretty... It, it's, it's, oh. you, it's, it's not... You, like, you... You're like, oh, dead body's throat, whatever. You throw Sean in, you jump on top of his body using his flight, uh, uh, a life preserver, but you do not anticipate how cold this is going to be, and your muscles just sort of seize up. I should have become a winter Eladrin. That Probably. Would have been, would have been better. Right, Futures is blasting off again. <laughs> uh, Adrian. Hope you're all ready for our third streaming uh, campaign. I am, I might, am I my full movement from the river? Uh, you are, no. Well, yeah, you're, you're yeah. Full movement okay. takes you up to the river. Okay, I'm gonna go to the river and then is it in action to swim? Or uh, would I have to use my next movement? It's it, you, 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 it's dash. You would be dashing, but you're moving slow unless you have a swim speed. I don't think I have a swim speed. I doubt you do. Also, yeah. Um, but if you're getting in there, I'm gonna give you advantage because you've been to the Ice Blood River before, so you so know, so you don't know what to expect uh, on this con save. Okay. Uh, 17. Yeah, you're good. You're, you're a swim. Uh, you make it a little bit farther than, than the two who have just frozen up from, from shock. Um, you make about 15 feet into this river. Cool. Uh, cool. The dragon is gonna go. Um, you still don't see it. It is still behind the, uh, the maze that you went through, so you can't, you can't quite see it. It also doesn't seem like it's gonna fit in that maze. Hey. Um, all right, I'm gonna roll some conditions. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Um, moon, like that. Moonlight like that. begins to emerge from Tether's bag. I need each of you to roll 1d10. Uh oh. Is he still in my bag? Yeah. He, he teleported back in there. All right, Adrian, what'd you get? Uh, it's an eight from me. Okay, Septon, what'd you get? A one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Una, what'd you get? One. 
<laughs> okay. Turn, what'd you get? Ten. Whoa. I got ten as well. Oh, you're still holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> But I did launch Una across, so after that I just <laughs> we reached back. Uh, cool. And then this guy gets one, two... Uh-oh. Um, cool. So as this moonlight um, emanates out from your bag, you hear uh, a laughing voice say, mm, this should be fun. Um, I hate that. I hate it. So and you much. all find yourselves not where you were a second ago. Um, you are all teleported forward by a degree of 30 feet times whatever you rolled. So, tether and turn, you teleport way ahead and you now find yourself on a slope like you 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 were standing and now you're sliding down a sharp incline um adrian you find yourself about 30 feet no well, actually you'd be one more up there you you find yourself about 60 feet behind them also sliding on this slope una and septon you find yourself um you know 30 feet forward still in the river uh the thing that worries you a little bit more than that is the aspect teleported 30 f teleported pretty much directly behind you. It is. It's right fucking there. Um, it is, however, sort of trying to doggy paddle as best it can. Um, doesn't seem like this thing is built for swimming. Uh, Only dog paddle. So it is going to make an athletics check to stay afloat. And f ah! <laughs> this thing's supposed to be scary! But I keep rolling twos! Uh, it is having trouble staying above water, so it cannot attack you this turn. Um... All right, next turn, let's roll for conditions. What I will let you guys know, those of you who are on the sliding slope right now, um, is that you can use an action to slide 60 feet on your turn. Um, What's at the bottom I, of the slope? Uh, bottom of the slope just sort of narrow, it just sort of levels back out into, into ground. Hey, it's really still going that way. That's correct. Question, um, could we go faster if me in turn if I grab my shield and put it Slide on the down? ground and we sat on it. Yes, you could. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to roll a couple of conditions here. All right, nothing. No change. Um, I don't know if I'm moving forward yet. I you say, where's Una and Septon? You look way the fuck... We actually, the three of you can't see them anymore. You do... You, oh. you recognize this slope, though, Adrian? You're quite a ways in front of the river. Well, they're either... Still back at the river, or very far ahead of us? Uh, I pull out my sword, and well, cause I we can see down the slope and ahead of us, right? Yeah, you can. And I don't see him. No. All right, I pull out my sword and I shove it into the ground to try and stop myself from sliding. Yeah, e easily enough, you stop yourself from sliding. Grab hands, yeah. Tether's hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and I begin marching my way back up the hill. All right, this will be difficult terrain. That is all right. Um, do I have to make any sort of checks or anything? Nah, or it's, it's just, just it's just a climb. Yep. All right, I'm just gonna move as far as I can. Yep. Back. Not that far. It's Fifteen feet. Um, uh, Adrian, is, what are you doing? Is that with my dash or? Well, you can't dash because my... your action was to stop your slide. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. So heroic, baby. Hey, not when chat do I hear you. <laughs> Do I see them coming uh, up over the hill? Uh, well, you're on the hill with them. You're, like, right behind them. Oh. Uh, what I do want you to do is make a history check for me. I stopped, and Adrian just... Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Another nat 20. Yeah, you... you Just two days ago, set up pitfall traps on this very slope, and you know exactly where all three of them are. And in fact... Turn put down his sword just a second before him and Tether fell right into one of them. Uh, be careful on that hill, by the way. I heavily trapped. Oh, who the put those there? Well, that was... I mean, you'd be thanking me if we weren't <laughs> sliding down ourselves. Can you point him out? I'll guide you all down once we have your friends. And then I'm right. going to use my movement and dash to get back to uh, the river. Yeah, you're not. Like, yeah, you're not gonna be. You're you're yeah. fucking. The 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 two of them right now are at mile marker four eighty. You are right now at mile marker six sixty, so or foot marker I should say. So you're you're a ways away. Okay. 
Uh, and you're going uphill, so you, you dash, but you don't make it all the way up the hill. You still have 30 more feet of hill left. All right, hey, Septa Nuna, what's going on? What's going on back in uh, Dragon Town? You, you tell us. Can we do anything? <laughs> yeah, you, you, the, it, it was a moment. To, you're now used to the, to the cold. Okay. The rest of your turn was just sort of done after that. I would like to run. Like well, to swim. swim my little yeah. heart out. Right. Oh, wait. Oh. You're still in the river. You still, okay, we're still in the you river. got 30 okay. feet of river left to clear. Okay, then swim. Yeah, All that's right. my action, I guess. So yeah, if you swim and dash, you can make it out of the river, both of you. Sounds good. Um, cool. Dragon is going to do the same thing. It, yeah, well, it doesn't have to, actually. Does it have a swim speed? Sure does. Um, so it swims right up behind you. It is at the end of the river, and it is going to make three attacks. Uh, two on you, Septon, because you're the bigger target, and two claw attacks on you, and a bite attack on Una. So the first claw attack towards you, Septon. Woof, natural 19. So I'm guessing that'll hit. That'll hit. Um, and the second claw attack is a 16. Uh, that hits too. Cool. I'm going to roll it all together then. Can you roll a two to stay above water? Or is that the last turn? What? That like was that was that was last turn. Yeah. I, I blacked out for a second. Because it would have attacked Sorry. them last turn if it. Oh. Yeah. Um. All right. That is. This is a lot of damage. Twenty-five points of damage there to you. Septon. Downed. All right. Septon hits the dirt. Um, oh. And Shandi sort of tumbles off of his shoulder. Uh, oh. Una, <laughs> Una, the bite attack. Shandi wakes up. Oh. Uh, 16. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. And it's only one attack against you. Only. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. 14 points of piercing damage. And four points of poison damage. Still. This is one attack. I told you this thing was scary. Told you. All right. That's... Hey, I think what we're learning is if you ain't green, you ain't going to be alive. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mean a teen if you ain't green. All right. Start of the next round. Healer, that healer in the village is going to be putting in some work. <laughs> Distinct. I mean, they're coming to bodies. Yeah, I'm out of healing. <gasps> Wait, no. Ah. I still have five good berries. So oh. you're you're legitimately so lucky. I just rolled a 15, which on my chart mean, says the trees go th grow thin. The aspect is unable to act this round. Um, so as trees are sort of like writhing around, it grows in thick along the river, um, impeding its pr forward progress. You guys are small enough to make it through, though. Let's get some actions. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to begin to make my way back towards... Yeah. Uh, the other two as fast as possible. Yeah, with your dash, you're making it 30 feet up this hill. Well, no, you got to climb speed, so you can actually make it 60 feet probably. Yeah. Um, nice. As you're literally just climbing up. You still got a little bit of hill left to go, but... Uh, Adrian, what do you want to do? Uh, I am also going to continue up the hill. Okay, without that climb speed, you get, you get to the very top of the hill, and you see uh, two forms laying on the ground and one limping... Um, one limping form, just next to them. Um, okay, and that was my movement? That was your movement, yep. All right, I am gonna use my dash to get closer to them then. Cool, yep, you are now up at the top of the hill. Cool. But you're, you're still 90 feet out from them. Uh, Septon, death save. Here we go. Eight. Fail. Una. I'm gonna try to stabilize Septon. Medicine check. With all of the... Oh, that's a skill, so this is... Okay, it's all right. Hmm, damn it. Uh, well, yeah, uh, it's an eight. Doesn't, doesn't seem to do much. You still have I'm movement. Gonna... <laughs> and bonus action. Uh, with my little, little halfling body, I'm just gonna try to pull my friend's limp All right. bodies. So technically, dragging someone gives you half movement. You are dragging two people. <laughs> so make an athletics check. I'm just trying. That is an unnatural one. Yeah, you can't, you can't, they can't budge them. 
you're you're pulling oh. and you're pulling, but nothing. Running in place. I'm crying. <laughs> All right, Aspect does not get to take a turn because of Thank the conditions. Goodness. Let's roll another condition, why don't we? 13. Ah! The forest itself casts Entangle on all of you. Make a dexterity saving throw. Good. Including the thing, the, the Aspect. I'm assuming I don't have to. No, you're, you, and, you, you and Shandi's corpse are just Entangled. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. The rest of you make a dex save. 13. Fail. You are entangled. 20, 21. Success. 19. Success. Looks One. like those uh, nat 20s Fail. get you so far. Yeah, the nat 20s are done. You do notice that the aspect has also been entangled. So, that's something. Um, so, turn turn and tether, you are free. Everyone else is currently entangled. Hey, uh, we'll start with you two. Dang. What do you want to do? Run. Uh, yeah, as we're running, I'm gonna say, turn, take the good berries, I will be a meat shield. <laughs> I scoop the good berries. Cool. Um... Thir- 30 feet gets you up next to, um, to, uh, to Adrian. I almost said Shanti. Um, you're next to aw- How far away from the, no. the other two are we? 90 feet till them. Can we... How far? Oh, but the dragon's also 90 feet? The dragon is... No, the dragon's behind them a little ways, but it's just very uh, big. Like right there. I mean, it's up on you, but... Okay. Technically, it's 30 feet behind you, but it is big enough that it can attack you from that range. If I push it back, will it no longer be restrained? Probably not. Okay. Well, we're, I'm just going to dash forward, I suppose, then. Yeah. All right. Oh, something happens here. Nah, you, don't, don't worry about it. This you, you skipped over this one. Doesn't matter. All right, yeah, you dash, you dash into it. the 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 ground beneath your feet is a little prickly, but you guys are fine. Um, all right, it is going to take. Oh uh, well, no, yeah, the rest of you guys, you can try to escape if you want. Well, Septon, you have to make a death save. Fun stuff. Seven. It's another failure. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Two <laughs> failures. No. Two run away, gang. No, 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 no. Two failures. Una and Adrian, you can use your action to try to escape the entangle if you'd like. I will try. Is that strength? Uh, dexterity saving throw, I believe. Unless I don't actually remember. Do you know off the top of your head, Michael? You use this spell a lot. Entangle. Entangle is um. I know the initial one is dex. No, no, it's strength. Strength, yeah, strength. Uh, 22. You, yeah, you you burst your way on out of there. Yeah, 12. You're you're still stuck. Uh, the, the aspect is going to go... The aspect uses his action to break free. Um, so it is free now. Mm. All right, so we're 60 feet away still from... Yeah. Tether, you don't have any healing magic prepared for today, do you? Besides Goodberry? Um, I had healing magic, but it was we're in a cave, if you remember. I just have five good berries left. You're all at the spell slots? Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Let's just double checking. Uh I'm sorry. Let me roll conditions no. before you before you go real quick. Sixteen. Nothing. Standard. Don't be sorry, we're gonna make this work. We're okay. six we're sixty we're... feet away still from sixty feet away. Oh boy. Una Una uh, is like up on Septon right now. They're like entangled together. Is it possible to move the sixty feet and apply the good berry or no, that would take an action? Uh, applying the good berry would take an action. Though not to give you a solution here, but if you could get the good berry to Una, she could probably apply it. She's restrained, she's not completely immobilized. It's in passing on an item, like a bonus action. It's an well, interaction. To, to hand off an item is a bonus action, but to throw it to her would probably be... I don't be... think the hand off is a bonus action. I think the hand off is just an interaction, right? Oh, because sure. she's 60 feet away. If we use her movement and action yeah. to get there, if we you, can If off. you dash off, you can probably hand this this uh, thing to Una. Yeah. 
It's like the same as like drawing a yeah. weapon, right? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Alright, well I'm gonna run 60 feet up to Una. I'm really close to this dragon thing. Yeah, right it's now. it's real close to you guys, and it is just broken free of its uh situation. Una, I need you to baby bird this thing into set its mouth. I hand you the good berry. Baby bird it? <laughs> I'm just gonna think about birds a lot. Nope, just shoving and... it into... Alright, you shove it into and his I'm mouth. Gonna run up, and I'm gonna run up there, and I'm gonna say in common, tree speak, what else do I know? Druidic and Sylvan, and I guess Elvish, because I know Elvish too, to the dragon. You are sh you are the color of shit green and um, ugly, and um, you can't hit me because I am better than you. It roars in response. It didn't seem to understand what she said. <laughs> Although you do hear a voice from your backpack say, Ooh, you got him good there. I hear it. I heard it. I heard it. Good All right. one, Tether. Uh, I'll do my shield like this. <laughs> All right. I'm good burying uh, um, Septon. Septon, you, gah, your, your eyes open. <laughs> you are not With dead. You got one HP. One HP. You still have an action, though. You and me both, am still, dude. Am I still bound? Yeah, you're. I mean, you're restrained at the moment. You could take your action to try to break free. Um, and then I also got to break Sean D free, don't I? Yep. That'll be another action, though. Well, action to break free. Here we come. Do I still have actually anything? Uh, action to feed something to somebody. You still have a okay. bonus action, though. If you have anything uh, for that. Like, you bonus I'm action. Gonna... I can't gonna, get out of it though. I'm still entangled. I'm gonna action to break free. Okay, go for it. Oh, what is what's what kind of check is that? Strength save. Strength strength save. Save. That's ten. Nope. Stuck. Okay. Um. Can okay. I? Probably can't do this while restrained. Can I spin the whip? It's a bonus action. You I, yeah, can't, I can't spin the whip while restrained. Yeah, I don't know. Rats. Uh, Alright, in that case, I am pretty much good. Cool. Adrian, did you go this turn? I don't believe so yet, no. Go for it. I'm just going to use my movement and action to dash up close to them as yep. well. Yep, you're, you're, right you're right up next to them now. Cool. Yep. That is it for me. Okay. Well. No. Yeah. It has a breath attack. And it is going to use it. Bye. It's a constitution oh. saving throw. From all four of you. So you don't fail instantly. Wow. But those of you with one HP probably aren't going to make it through this. No. Uh, I do need a constitution saving throw from each of you. Unnatural 20. Hey, success. Also a, also a flaccid 20. Success? 16. 16. Success yeah, across the board still... for 16s. Okay. And who hasn't given me it? Winfield. No, I said 16. Oh, you also got a 16? What did you get, yeah. um, Michael? I got eight. Oh, yeah, you're good. Cool. You all succeed. Yay. Woo. It's <laughs> a lot of D6. Is half damage gonna be enough to kill us anyway? Probably. What's um? What's the rule on instant kill? It equals your max HP yeah. plus your current HP. You die. Yo, if you go over a 34, I'm out. We'll see what happens. Oh, After boy. we tried so hard to keep this Eladrin alive. <laughs> uh oh. I'm gonna start typing some numbers into Google really quick. Don't oh, worry no, about that. No. It's a lot of dice. It's a lot of dice. They're not all rolling well. It's a lot of dice. It's a lot of dice. It's a lot of work for one man. <laughs> we're we're not disappointed, Noodle Boy. Welcome to chat, by the way. We just might TPK. <laughs> oh, that's good. Rolled really badly. Noodle Boy knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. He's joined the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You all take 24 points of damage. That was already halved. Nothing. That's nothing. Um, it, is poise, it is poison damage, if that matters to any of you. You know, you'd think I'd be a, a resistant. <laughs> As a mushroom person. It deals poison uh, damage. Okay, so two of you are now unconscious again, and um, three of you are fine. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. Yeah. Um, okay, new turn. Let's roll for conditions, baby. A nine. What's a nine? <laughs> the world explodes, and we're all gonna die anyway. A horrible, thorny, draconic visage forms ahead. Everybody who's awake, make an intelligence saving throw. Oh. Including okay. moving forward. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't really matter. It's in front of you, but the aspect also has to make this save. So make it the save. Eighteen. You're good. Scared self. Seventeen. Seventeen. You're good. Oh. A six. You are frightened. Tether, my legs are doing the thing again. <laughs> and so is the aspect. The aspect is also frightened. Interesting. Oh, That's was such a weird sight cat. to think about. Like yeah, a scared dragon. It's thing. this horrible like creature made out of thorns is scared of this other horrible creature made out of thorns. Scared uh, of himself. That is technically. I should have thought about this while planning it. It is technically itself, but eh. It's That's a, real deep. It's a strange alien intelligence, so it's fragmented to the point where it is still scared. All right, can we get two death saves um, from the two unconscious folks? Two each or one? Just one. Just one. Well, if, yeah. if we revive them this turn, can they have their action before That's they... That's true. If you were able to revive them this turn, then go... I saw four. Do that now, first. here's a question. Before, you ruled that someone can only benefit from a berry once per... I... I okay, the ruling was you couldn't eat a bunch of berries in one go for a bunch of healing because that would fuck your stomach up. Shoving well, another. When you go unconscious, you yeah. shit yourself. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. <Yeah. laughs> but just down the good berries. I mean, I just open up uh, despite... Captain's mouth and I just punch him right in the uvula. No, uh, <laughs> <starts vomiting>. despite <laughs> despite the discomfort it will cause somebody who has already eaten a good berry, shoving one of their mouth to save their life is a thing you are able to do. Well, well, well. Looks like the doctor is in. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give my good berry to um, Adrian to use? Sure. As mm -hmm. an action. And then for my action, I'm going to do my last uh, symbiotic entity. Wait, cool. don't you want to do one on... Never mind. Well, so yeah, you... Yeah, you... You're doing one... Yeah. Everyone's getting up better. Yeah. Is able to get up. So, Adrian, a berry just gets tossed over to you. You recognize it as a good berry and... Septon is right in front of you, so you could stick yeah, that in okay. his mouth if you want. Pop in that mouth. And turn, you pop you pop a berry into um into Una's mouth. And you both <gasps> wake up! Two, 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 two. You're still Hello. super restrained though. I hate this. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. I, I'd like I, to use my action to break the restraints. Give it a shot! What did we say it was? Strength? Strength saving throw. It's just no good. Flaccid 20. Yep. Boom. This second berry and the feeling of being over full in your gut manages to break you out of this thing. I poop so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Blast the mind away. Horrible. No, this is black No! <laughs> Una, Una, what are you, what, what's going on for you? Well, I'm trying to break out, but I rolled a five. You are still stuck. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be like, just go. I'm gonna use my movement to get in, just, in front of them. Just go. Okay. To like, between. All right. Uh, the aspect is going to use its movement to swim back across the lake, uh, river in fear, because it is not smart. Giving you some room to maneuver. It is now 60-ish feet away from everybody. Attack. You could take an opportunity attack if you want. Show it who's boss. Show it why you don't mess with the green. It dance. looks it looks fine as far as damage is concerned, though. I will warn you. But you could take yeah, it. Yeah, I don't want. want I, no, I don't want to um do that. <laughs> cool. All right. New round. Roll for conditions. No conditions. Uh, what do y'all want to do? 
You can. Do I like use my action to cut Una free? Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do that. You <laughs> cut <sighs> Una out, and Una sort of tumbles out of the thing. There is still a corpse entangled in these vines, though. Yeah. I use my action to cut the corpse out the veins. You cut Shandy out. Throw him up over my shoulder. Um, All right. Now you've got I, the corpse. And I say, you've it's time to corpse. leave. Oh, nope. am I still frightened? Uh, no, it's gone because the round ended. Oof. Yeah. Um, all right, I guess I move 30, 30 feet. Or is cool. it, do I move at half speed because I'm carrying a corpse? No, you're, I mean, are you I'm... encumbered? Um, with, how heavy was um, Shandi? How heavy was Shandi? I don't know, let me bring up his character sheet. Did you write it <laughs> down, like, or? I, I did write it down, it was just a random number. I, I think it was like 120-something, he's light. Um, I can get the exact number if you want. Will that Shanti, matter? level 4, dead. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, I mean, you do see that Septon is currently roided out right now, if you want to leave the corpse to him. No, no, no not, not anymore. anymore. Oh yeah, because you fucking yeah. pass out, huh? Yeah, I had to concentrate on that. Yeah, it's one twenty-two. All right, I, I, easy come, easy go. I leave my great axe behind and I okay. zombie over my. Uh... Oh, sounds good. Oh. Um, turn. You're using your movement. And then I guess I would use the rest. As long as everyone else is going, then I will start moving. Yeah. 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 I'll grab. Movement. Turns great axe. Okay. I'm sure I can carry it without being encumbered. I only have like one other weapon on yeah. me. You you pick it up. It's yeah. It's heavy, but you know you can still move. I got a plus one in strength. I I can yeah. probably pick up a great axe. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. All right. So Adrian and Turn move thirty feet back towards the grove because they've both used actions this turn. Um, what are Wait, the rest of y'all doing? Sorry. How heavy did you say it was? One twenty-two. Oh, then I will have to leave more than my great axe. I ditched my whole entire backpack. The whole backpack. The whole backpack. Yep. All right. I just take off my backpack and throw. Oh, my flute. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. There will be casualties one way or the other. <laughs> uh cool. So yeah, you you. With uh, with Shandi slung over your shoulder, you begin going. So does Adrian, who cuts you out and immediately turns around. Uh, Septon, you pick up the axe. What else do you want to do? I don't know. Is the flute visible? We don't have time. No, to go. it's just a backpack. It's, All right, and I'm just gonna get moving with, the, right. with the group. I'm Th assuming my javelin strapped onto my body and like my throwing weapons are on my belt or yeah. on a sash or something. That's fine. Okay. It's just whatever you had in your bag is now dropped. Yeah, that'd be so. like my longbow, my shield, my sword. Probably uh, your money. My money, my bedroll, my blanket, my tar my cartographer tools, my map case, my traveler clothes, my crowbar, my flute, my grappling hook, my hammer, <laughs> my bullseye lantern, my mess kit, my flasks of oil, python's quivers, my rain catcher, son of a bitch, <laughs> my, my rope, my tinder box, and my water skin. So that is exactly what's in it. All right, and it is all gone now. Uh, Una, what are you up to? I'm running. Running. Are you double dashing or single dashing? I'm double dashing. All right, you are now ahead of the group. Tether, what are you up to? I'm going to move 25 feet. Only 25? I'm assuming I have the most health, so if this thing is going to hit someone... Sure. You are right behind most of the group. Oh, I'm sorry, uh... The vines that um, entangled everyone, those are also dead, right? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, everything's dead. Cool. Uh, never mind, I'll go 30. Okay, you're, you're with the group. You can stay a step behind everybody if you'd like. Yeah. All right, on the Draconic Entity's turn, it is going to once more enter the river. It is... It takes a, some time to get through the river, though. All right, new round. Let's roll conditions! A three... There's a quick drop in elevation. Everybody make an acrobatics or athletics check to not lose your movement this turn. Remember that one? 25. You're good. Five. You're not. Fuck me. Eight. You're not great. Uh oh. Natural one. Not great. 13. You're good. All right, so turn Una and Septon. You cannot use your movement this turn. You can still dash if you'd like to though. I'd like to dash. 
All right, you dash up and you are now at the top of this big precarious hill. Una, you are already at the top of this big precarious, precarious hill. I'd like Ooh. to dash as well. All right, you are now also at the top of the big precarious hill. Um, I'd like to move 30 feet. Okay. And I'd like to prepare a help action. For what? What are you intending to help about? Um, like... some, um, so, um, uh, two, I think two people would be able to fit. Two people would be able to slide oh, get on better your shield. down. I'll get on my shield. So I'll give up my two AC. Cool. Can I use my movement to get to the edge of mm -hmm. the hill? Yep. And then say, follow me to avoid the traps, and then use my action to slide 60 feet down? Yes, you can. When he begins to slide down, the dragon is going to poof, poof, uh, start chasing after you. It is like 30 feet behind you now. All right, let's work conditions again. 17, no conditions. Okay, what are y'all doing? I'll hop on, <coughs> sorry, I'll hop on the shield and cool. follow. Someone else can too. I probably can't because I'm holding a someone. Yeah. yeah. Step in, go. Yeah, I'll get on. Okay, the two of you jump on that shield and you can use, I I'm gonna go ahead and say double the 60 feet on the slide so you can go 120 feet with an action. Watch out for the traps that someone set. The what? He are, no, Adrian's, Adrian's leading us. Well, you're, you will go faster than Adrian uh, on the sled. But Adrian, can, you can yell out where the traps are and that's fine. Left, right. Yep, so they are, they are successfully avoiding the traps. Uh, turn and tether, and Adrian, I guess for that matter. What are you up to? So I can use my movement and then actually go 90? Yep. I'm just gonna do that then. You are ahead, you are now, you slide in fact ahead of the shield goers at this point then. Great. Right. Yeah. I'll also move and use my dash to get as far as I can. Well, you with 30 feet, your movement, you can get onto the, the thing, and then you can take an action to slide for 60 if you want. All right. Tether. And I'll do the same. So you in turn, neck and neck. This thing is going to go 60 feet. It is now at the top of the hill. We move to the next round of combat. I roll for conditions. I roll. Is that a six or a nine? That is a six. Uh, Grimmenheld's whale grows stronger. I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh, right is up this, my alley. Again, is this a frightening or something else? It is else? not a frightening effect. Okay. 18. You're good. Natural 20. Cool. Six. Fail. Nine. Fail. Eight. Fail. You are stunned until the start of the next round. However, you are already moving. So you're going to control. The sled is currently out of control, and I'm going to make a roll to see whether or not you hit one of the traps um, here. You do. Um, you go ahead and hit one of them pitfall traps, and as you hit I the again. pitfall trap, your movement starts, stops... Um, but you don't take any damage. There's not, like, any spikes in there. Your movement stops, and you are stuck there till the end of uh, the turn. But How far you know, do they make it before hitting the trap? They almost instantly hit the trap. Technically, it just uh, stops their movement right away. Um, Adrian, you are also stunned? Yes. Okay, I will roll to see if you hit one of the other traps. You do not. You just continue to slide, you slide 60 feet past the traps. Uh, cool. Tether and turn. All right, so if we start moving, um, who are we going to catch up to first? Uh, Septon and Una on a shield are 30 feet ahead of you. Uh, Adrian is significantly farther ahead of you. Can like we go down 30 feet and help them out and push them? Uh, sure, yeah, that's fine. That's what I would like to do as cool. well. Yeah. You, you sort of slow your slide and you pull them out of the thing. They're just stunned on this, on this sled and you just push them down. <laughs> So their, their movement is automatically restarted. In fact, I'll give them 30 bonus feet of movement for that push. All right, the creature is going to jump onto the thing and also begin sliding. He is catching up to you and turn, the tether and turn. He's like right behind you. The green TT. Yep. All right, well, you know what I should do is I should roll for the pitfall trap. Green T. He does not hit the third, the, the, the second or third pitfall traps. Hey, man. All right. 
New round, roll for conditions! It's a six this time. A horrible, frightening visage appears again. Oh, no. <laughs> He's, uh, uh, with the visages. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the so dice. Scary. The dice. All right, everybody make an intelligence saving throw. The creature is fr the aspect is frightened. Four. You 18. are you are frightened. Tether, you're fine. Eighteen. All right. Something above. Adrian, a 10. frightened. Una, fine. Septon. Seven. Frightened. Hey, we going. Yeah, you can't <laughs> willingly move towards it, but that's not really up to you at this point. I'm just screaming. Yeah. <laughs> the two of you manage to make it down to the bottom of the hill. You slide through the horrible draconic face. You shit yourself, Septon. Um, <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> again. Oh, that's Poor Una. Up. I'm ready for another good day. I'm making good. Uh... Adrian, you are frightened, uh, but sliding, so you make it at least 30 feet. You're 30 okay. feet away from the bottom of the hill, but you're probably going to have to stop there from fear. Um, in Tether and Turn, you were fine? Um, I'm fine, fine but I, we're uh, holding hands. You're um, holding hands, and you're just rushing him down this hill. Close your eyes! All right. All right. And you, you make it up to the visage, so like it's just right next to you, Turn. And it's it's some scary shit. All right, the creature is gonna try to slow its descent. It makes it sell. It makes it uh, thirty feet forward, but it is trying to stop its movement, and it might hit the final um, trap. Does it? It does. It does hit the trap. It is stuck in the trap. Okay, that is the end of its turn. We come to the start of a new turn. Your fear wears off, and I will roll once again for conditions. A four, you say. Visage. No. The aspect would release a thorn volley, but it can't because it is stuck in a pitfall trap. So nothing hey. bad happens to you this turn. You're damn lucky. All right. Yeah. So Septon and Una, you slide to the bottom of the hill and at the beginning of your turn without anything happening. Um, what do you want to do? What do we see in front of us? Uh, in front more. of you, you see, yeah, just more, more jungle. You might see one other thing. Jungle. No, just the jungle. Just the jungle. Uh, Adrian, you know that you you're reaching the the home stretch here. Just a bit further. I'm going. You can't see you can't see the place yet, but you're you're getting close. I think I was putting the pizza and or I was getting the pizza out of the oven. But why is Brom and Alpha not with us? Uh, they, I, know, I know why Brahm's not with us. Why is Alta not with us? They they took the hourglass and were going to go distract Grimmenhelm, but then the hourglass just uh, teleported right back onto Tether again. Okay, so they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can assume. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then we're going to get kicked out of Hagen. Hey, uh, if we fucking live. Nothing, like, got us in trouble. Like, why I, have, go there? I have never once been kicked out of a haagen -Dazs. Yes, one time I did push an old lady to get into front of the line, but hey, there was only one scoop left of s'mores. That's fair. Um, I'm gonna keep running. Double dash. Alright, double dash. You that make double it D. pretty double far. Though, as you make it up this far, oh, I hate to say it, you step in a giant claw made out of um, roots. <laughs> grasps you in its grip. You are now immobilized in its grip. Um, you can, as an action, on your turn, try to make a athletics or acrobatics to wiggle you know free. You know, you know what, strangely, I feel safe here. <laughs> <laughs> it's slowly crushing you. I don't know if you oh, should. never mind. Yeah. Septon, what are you up to? <clears throat> or anybody else who wants to go first. I think we have a pretty good, like, order that we've been doing for a while. Sure. I've lost track of where I am. You're at the bottom of the hill. Una is about 75 feet in front of you being clawed. Um... Can I... She says 70 feet in front of me? 75, right? Because you're 25. Yeah. Yeah, 25 um... each, so... Well, I will run my 60 feet that I can mm -hmm. and sure think about doing something to help Una. Sure. Uh, gr green team and Adrian. What are you up to? No longer afraid, right? No longer afraid. 
The thing yeah, dissipates in front of you. We're gonna move forward as much as we can. All right. So yeah. yeah, you can slide. You can make it to the bottom of the hill here with your with your action of sliding and your movement. Sick. If this wasn't in the situation that we are in, I would have thought that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Honestly, like. Turn and Tether have had the most beautiful bonding experience. <laughs> yeah. and Septon and Una have just been traumatized <laughs> even more than they already are. Uh, sorry, Winfield, what did you say about what you want to do? With my movement and action, I can make it to the bottom as well. With, with just your action, you can make it to the bottom. Okay. So I'll use my action to get to the bottom and run another 35 feet. Cool. You do. Uh, the dragon is going to climb out of the pit. That is its turn. We're rolling for conditions again. 19, no conditions. All right. Una, you're you're in there. And everybody else... Um, okay. Uh, acrobatics check or yeah. save? Uh, check. Acrobatics or Ooh. athletics. This is a grapple, technically. Yeah. 21. You wriggle your way through. <sighs> that's your action. What the... That you're running? Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, I can. You can't. You got movement and bonus action. Oh, still. yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm running. All right, you, you just fucking book it out of there. I want there to be another claw, and she's just our, like, our, like, uh, mine test, our landmine tester. No. <laughs> just tears running down her face. For some reason, they're black, even though she doesn't wear mascara. It's... Real edgy here. Chat, stop! <laughs> Don't fireball me right now! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! You should have waited. I only have like two thousand left. Oh, I'm sorry. I just saw it happening and I had yeah. to. Yeah. All right. What are the rest of you doing? <sighs> only Una has gone. Septon, Adrian, Tether, Turn. What are you doing? I'll, I'll keep moving after Una. All right. As you step into the place where the claw was grappling Una, whoom, claw gets you. But you still have an action you can use to get out if you want. Oh, there's no save on that? Okay. No, it just gets you. It grapples Damn. you, and then you can try to Yikes. escape. All right. I'll try to escape. Is that just like a, a, athletics? Athletics or acrobatics? Uh, we'll use acrobatics. Right. Acrobatics. 24. 24. Yeah, you, you're you good. You're free. You All right. wiggle out of it. But that's your action. Green team and Adrian. Um. Lord. Yeah. All right, you sprint forward. You're about 30 feet back from where Septon, got, Septon and uh, Una got clawed, uh, Tether, in turn. What about you, Adrian? I'm also going to move my 35 feet. Okay. Yeah, you... Well, that was that was move and dash for Tether and okay, turn I'll, to get I'll up. But if, you, well. it, but if you dash, you will step into the space where they got clawed. Um, and I, I know that that space exists. You've seen two people get clawed in it. All right. I will stop right before it, then. Cool. All right, dragon is going to slide. Yep. It's a little ways behind you. So is it like only one space set clause that we can jump over, or is it... You can give, you can give it a shot. It's just the same 30-ish feet. Oh. Got him. Um... All right, your, your turn again, but first I will roll a 14. Yeah. 14. Oh, moonlight emerges from the hourglass. Everybody roll a d10. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, he I says, I'm bored. Shit. I'm bored. And then he, uh, he rolls it. So yeah. It's a roll. Cool, same roll. Nine. Okay. Eight. Keep keep it to yourself for one second. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, Una, you got a nine? Yep. Okay, uh, how, who have you blessed so far, Adrian? I blessed everyone. Perfect. Uh, Septon, oh. you got an eight? Yep. Okay. Tether? Tether's what, gone. What'd you get, Tether? Tether? Sorry, Tether. sorry, 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 sorry. You're good. Uh, Adrian, what'd you get? I got a six. Okay. Turn. Nine. Okay. Tether. 
five. Okay, so as the moonlight glows, um, turn, Una, and Septon, you find yourself standing somewhere safe. And we'll get to you in a minute. Uh, Adrian and Tether, you are not safe. Tether, you open your eyes and you see out in front of you this like large sort of bubble um, that this opaque bubble that you can't see through. You see 30 feet ahead of you, Adrian appears, and you see 30 feet behind you, the aspect appears. Um, so, Adrian and Tether, your turns. Can uh, the rest of us not see them? Uh, mm, we'll get to you. They, they, they're going to go first because they're in, in danger, but at the end of the turn, we will, we will get to what's happening for you. Okay. Uh, how far am I from the barrier? Uh, you are 90 feet from the barrier. Tether, you are 120 feet from the barrier. The dragon is 30 feet behind you. All right, I'm just going to say mushroom headed one. We're almost there. And then use my full action and, or uh, my uh, movement and dash to move 70 feet. Cool. You make it up right to the edge of the barrier. Tether. I'll, I'll move 60. Cool. The uh, dragon is going to run up as well. As it catches, almost catches up with you, Tether, you see up out of the ground right next to you, this, um, ah, fuck, the music stopped. Uh, you see this, um, basically tree root just boosh, pop up out of the ground. And emerging from the ground is the first living plant that you have seen. This massive treant arrives and just socks the dragon right up across the across its jaw, knocking it backwards as you continue to run forward. Thank you. Cool. Whoa. Um, at this point, the rest of you are, as the, the aspect is now otherwise engaged, you are able to run forward and jump through the barrier and you, by the hair of your chinny chin chin, survived that chase encounter there. Good job. Holy shit. Yep. Okay. What's everyone's HP? I was at 1 HP after that attack. Same. 10. I was at like 34. Yeah, fuck you. No, I, was gonna, I had 8. Oh, okay. Yeah, but then I added 16 with my with temporary. Mm. All right. So, as you take a moment to like take a breath, you look around. And you see something very different than what you were experiencing before. Um, while the rest of the court is sullen and lifeless, the, where you are right now within this bubble is teeming with life. Instead of buildings, there are living structures dotting this community made from flowers, trees, and vibrant green vines. Life is practically bursting out of every corner of this place. And in the center of it all, there's a massive archway built of entwined flowery vines. Uh, at first glance, the arch seems empty, but upon closer inspection, the view through the vines is slightly warped, slightly different from the world around it. Floating high above this arch, you can vaguely make out the outline of a figure. As you take a moment to take a breath, you realize you're not the only ones here. Um, a whole community of wood and high elves alike going about their daily business have stopped to just look straight at you. Does this place feel more familiar to me? This has this has absolute Feywild energy, yes. It's Big not Fey energy. It's not the Feywild, but it feels but still, Big Fey. Energy. In tune with it. Is Big Fey energy a, a reasonable approximation? Yeah, Big Fey energy. Adrian, you've made it back. You're back in the primal grove. <sighs> All right. This is. Made I'm it. sorry, guys. This is giving me such um, um, elven territories of the noble dead saga. If anyone's read those <laughs> books. <laughs> no, I read the going. first one. But... Well, we have to find out what to do about this hourglass, as well as heal your friend if... Did the hourglass make it through? The hourglass did not make it through. <clears throat> Tether's, Tether, in fact, your bag didn't make it through. Your bag is now lying outside. Huh. Yeah. Wait, I, I, I had a backpack, so am I like, 
It, it ripped. The, the force, oh, okay. the force <laughs> of the uh, of the thing, the straps on the backpack ripped off as you came in. Another good backpack lost. Well, that one's just right outside. You can probably get that one later. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's okay. I, I I had literally no material possessions. <laughs> Yeah. You should probably... Besides my shield, does yeah, my, did, was my shield left behind? Were you carrying it, or was it strapped to your back? No, I gave it to Septon and Una to slide down, and then they were teleported. They got... Your shield probably is out there somewhere, yeah, because yeah. they got clawed. Yeah, I'm at 816 8, um, AC now. Yeah. Um, an elf approaches you. Um, he is a pretty brawny elven man with brown hair shaved at the sides while sort of long and spiky at the top. Uh, he approaches, he is bare chested and his chest is covered in scars. Um, he takes a couple steps forward and says, Out Warden, who are, uh, who are these people? Uh, this, this is the greatest warrior of the tribe. Um, and his name I said earlier, but I don't remember it. So I'm going to say it again. His name is... Give me my mouse. Silence. His name is Aethir Veerwarden. I found them while out on my patrols following the recent incident. They were with Elitha and... My baby Reven. sister! My baby sister's back in the woods! Yes, and, <laughs> she was... and just Elitha. <laughs> She was with Brahm as well. Ah, uh, Brahm. Uh. He's like, <laughs> he's like big himbo grin pretty quickly falls. Ah, uh, well, that's no good. This song is garbage. Um, we'll switch to this playlist. How's that sound? What was his name? Uh, Aethir Veerwarden. Um, ah, well that's, uh, that's not as good, I, I suppose, but, uh, Hey, I mean, my baby sister's here. Yes, we lost track of them. Um, there was an attack. Yeah. By Grim and Hell. Grim and Hell, though, we could sense it. Um, the two of them tried to draw it off, but for some reason, the hourglass they carry lured it straight back to us. Hourglass. Uh, we probably shouldn't let that thing out of our sight if it's on the um, other side of Yeah, it's right here. In the bag? Yeah. Hey, uh, sorry. I, that's probably pressing. Can't help but notice you got a dead guy on your shoulder there. Can you do something about that, please? We've come to see a healer. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't do anything about that, but, you know, go see Karafir. Maybe he could do something for you. Yeah, Elisa um, sent us to a healer. Well, hey, my baby sister knows, a pick -up, knows how to pick him. He is one of the most uh, strong heal. He's the strongest, the most strong healers around. Yeah, that works. That's a sentence, probably. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. All right, I'll keep an eye on this bag, and I'll also keep an eye out for my sister and her exiled boyfriend. Um, wait, I thought they were- So they are boyfriend! Oh! I told you he was in heat. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, right. they said they- Wait, grew, wait. They said they yeah. grew up together like siblings. Well, I wouldn't quite call it like siblings. I mean, he lived that next just, to us. That just makes it harder. <laughs> Cancel. Yeah. Cancel. Brahm and the brother of mine. I mean, he might he might live as long as an elf, but that doesn't make him an elf. The fuck is Brahm? <laughs> it could elf. be his paladin. Alrighty. Uh, well, um, if you guys get uh, take care of the hourglass, I suppose I'll take this. I'll take Shandi over to. Um, yeah. I mean, hey, air, welcome to the welcome air. to the primal grove. And, uh, hey, Adrian, I know you're in, uh, hot water there for a minute, but escorting some people through a Grimmenhild attack? You know, the elders are gonna probably be pretty pleased with you on that one. Well, glad to see... Unless that guy but died me. on the way. No, 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 no. no. Okay, He's yeah, well, In that case, good job, yeah. He got punched by a rock. Ah, uh, that sounds <laughs> bad. Well, uh, yeah. anyway, uh, Marble Temple, sort of, back end of town, that's the way. Adrian, show him the way. You got this. Follow me, green one. All right. Um, 
And you see, as you see, as Aethir doesn't leave the barrier, but just, like, stands with his arms crossed and stares intently at the bag. He's very literally keeping an eye on the thing. Good. Okay, I'll go with Turn and all of them. Hmm, I see where Alitha gets her smarts from. <laughs> um, so, Adrian, you lead them um, to the only non-organic structure in the grove. This song is too much. This song is too sad. This is good. Uh, you, t you lead them to the only non-organic structure on the entire grove. It is a temple formed of marble bearing the symbol of the dove above its door. As you approach, however, it will become clear that the marble is literally growing out of roots in the ground as well. Um, there's an open doorway, um, but it's sort of dark inside there on account of the marble temple all around that. Well, you should find, hopefully, what you're looking for inside. All right. Thank uh, you. Tether, could you get the door? My hands are kind of full. There's no door. Yeah, yeah. Just oh. there's no door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe seconds mind. ago. <laughs> uh, oh, I was sort of expecting a door. I, I don't know. I get... I'm a little distracted. I yeah, uh, I mean, living buildings, they're, they're a really cool thing, but they don't usually have hinges. Right, all right. You could put, like, a pretty, like, moss curtain on no, it's, them. But... It's okay, I made the mistake, I'm sorry. No, that's not a mistake, I was just talking about some old interior decorating. I'm sorry, we should do this. All right. I step in and I say, hello? Step inside. Um, the air quickly becomes quite a bit cooler in here. The, the grove, for the most part, is pretty comfortably warm. Um, but in this temple, it is significantly colder. Um, it is a dimly lit by s candles that burn silver. And you can see a figure in gray silken robes with long silver hair kneeling in front of a raised altar. I'm not Hi. Just do we? Oh. Okay. Hi. I'm to interrupt. What yeah, brings you to the home of Neralis Anilor, the Watcher of right. Souls, the Guider of Elven Demise? You require the assistance of a healer. Please. You've come to an interesting place for that. Um, the figure stands up and turns around. This is an elven man with a dark complexion and two eyes filled with cataracts. Um, the way elves age, it's hard to tell generally how old elves are, but just judging by the way he holds himself, his stern face and his blind eyes, you're guessing that this is a fairly old individual. Um, I am not so much a healer as I am one who guides the death of the people in the primal grove. My name is Carafir Drimfane. And you are not from around here. No. No, I'm from a place like here. <laughs> Sorry, one second for some reason. Yeah, so the stream went black for a second. It's okay. Ooh, missing. There we go. Um, sorry, say what you were saying. I'm from a place like here. We were sent by Elith of Veer Warden. Yes, I know. Tell Can... me, for what, for, for what, for what do you come? A friend of ours. Died Why not are you a day at me? ago. I'm not pointing at you. <laughs> my shoulder. A day ago. Lay his I mean, I... lay his form on the altar. Has it been a day? Not no. not even no. no. Yeah, it's it's probably not, like not a day ago. It's probably probably like one a.m. at this point. Oh shit! If you like need anything, like I, I can give anything. Or he holds a hand up for silence. Okay, sorry. And then he hovers the hand over Shandi's corpse. Um, he holds it there for a while, closes his eyes, sighs deeply, and turns back to you. 
This man is not only dead, his soul has been split in twain. Uh, is that... I'm sorry, is that two? Yes. Part of his soul okay. is being held captive by some sort of malevolent presence. And the other half is gone. It has been severed from his person and taken somewhere else. Not even the Watcher of Souls can tell me where. To restore him to life will be tricky, even trickier than it already is. Um, what huh? malevolent presence? Is it the hmm. hourglass? Yeah, there's a malevolent presence in an hourglass that won't leave me alone, and it's in uh, it's in my backpack right outside the glade. I do sense a presence on the outskirts of the grove of similar energy. The section of his soul held captive by this entity is the one I could restore. It will not be easy. But I could attempt, what? should you like me to. What happens if you restore a soul that's not whole? I've never done it before. Not in my 700 years on this earth. Your guess is as good as mine. Do you, like, need another, like, don donor soul? No, I do not. But this is a difficult ritual one that you could assist me in now the gods do not take kindly to overzealous interlopers so only two of you may assist me i will perform this ritual and you may give an offering that you believe the soul you are trying to reclaim would appreciate if the gods deem it fit it will help me in returning him to you. But only two. So to take a step back from the character, I'm going to explain how this works. I've always had a problem with um, the way, how easy it is to return to life in this game. So I developed, I didn't really develop, but I just threw together a little system. Um, because of the, the caster of the spell is going to make a wisdom check to see if it is successful. The, because of this situation that he is in right now, the DC of this check is 20. Um, mm. Two of you may make an offering to improve the ritual, and if the offering is successful, you reduce the DC of the check by five each time. If the check is successful, the spell succeeds. If it is unsuccessful, the spell fails, and the soul of Shandi will be gone. I mean... So, I don't, around. I don't Shandy, have anything. Did Shandi have any of his swords on him? I mean, they were probably on him, yeah. Like the stinger. Yeah. I mean, I was I... assuming all of Shandi's equipment was. Well, where was his equipment? It was. I mean, it was on him. You you I you carried him back him. wholesale, so and nobody ever took it off. So, assumingly, it's there. Still that earring thing. I would I would take one of his swords and start to polish it the way he did every night. Okay. I've seen it many a time. You have, so make a history check with advantage to do it the same way that he does. And let's see if I can polish one of his swords just the way he would. Mm. I know Shani loves a good polished sword. He does. Is, is, is this a situation yeah, where I can guide, like, whoa, or now? Is it like a, yeah. Oh here. yeah, no, no, no. He, not that way. That's a little too rushed. He likes it. <laughs> Make sure you take your time. With, with advantage, right? With advantage, yeah, because you've seen it many, many times. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen is enough. You reduce the DC by five. Uh, Carafia raises an eyebrow at you, but doesn't say anything as you polish the sword and rest it on top of Shandi's form. Trust me, he would have wanted it like that. <laughs> you knew him. I did not. Is there anything else that would like to be offered? Shandi liked quiet and he liked the... They can have my voice. <laughs> this isn't a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, young creature of the wild, this is not a deal that is to be made with some sort of entity. It is something you can actually offer there's no bargaining to be had do you think shandy would like my cat ears can you take them off i don't know i 
I always think that sometimes I'm gonna try it and one of these days they're gonna slip right off. I tried once and yeah. No. Doesn't come off. I'm gonna get them. I want them. Alright, um Shandy's not that ostentatious, we probably wouldn't like my cloak. But I mean I'd give it up. And all everything else I own is back there in the dirt, so Oh, I bet he would have loved my rain catcher. <laughs> <laughs> Literally have nothing. Um. Um, 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 um. What you offer does not have to be physical as your friend demonstrated. It could be an act or a kind word or something that your friend would have liked. I, 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 um offer my services to make sure he gets the best grade on every test and every quiz and every trial even if it's the detriment to my grades. The DC goes up. <laughs> mm. Make a charisma check for me. Are these are these like uh ability checks that have disadvantage in this case i'm not going to give it disadvantage okay. are you sure not wisdom i am sure not wisdom because you're endearing yourself to the gods you're not wisening yourself to the gods uh, i have negative one you got it uh. i don't want to do it fine 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 <laughs> you got it Fuck, that feels so good. I rolled an 18. <laughs> um, you get the sense that your your plea, whether or not you go through with it, was endearing enough that the DC goes down once again. The DC is 10. This man has a plus 5 to his wisdom save. I roll a d20. And if it's, if it's less than 5, Shandi is no longer alive. But if it's higher than 5, good. In fact, I'm going to roll the big dice. Ooh. Big die. Here we go. And I'm gonna... right. Dice cam. Dice cam. This is important. Shit. It's gonna be reversed, but you'll get it. All right. <laughs> cool. So we'll take a, a second away from you. Shandi, you want to come back? Not no. yet. <laughs> well, Shandi said no. That is that is what we are about to find out. Oh, what did she offer? To hang out with me more? Uh, All right. Shandi. Should we all mute, uh, mute and deafen? We, yeah. Sure, go for it. It's I pronounce mutant. Mutant? Uh, I couldn't do it. Sorry. Shandi. Um, the time that you spent in this sort of foggy, blood moon lit realm um, felt like an eternity. Um, you just wild away for, for years and years, it felt like, while well, nothing happened. But all of a sudden, your eyes grow heavy and dark, and they're closed. When they open, you find yourself standing in the center of a grand and ominous chamber. The walls and floor are crafted of a substance of a darker black than you have ever seen before. The surfaces are infused with a with deep red lines bordering the edges of the walls and pillars that support the ceiling, creating a sense of order, albeit an unnerving one. You stand upon a square outlined by red, bordering the abyssally black floor. Directly in front of you is a ruby statue of a beautiful woman. She stands 25 feet tall and is sculpted sitting upon a chair with a book open in her hand. Her face, covered by an immaculately carved veil, possesses high cheekbones and sharp features, uncannily reminiscent of a skull. A voice will sound, sounds in your head, and as it does so, the eyes under the veil glow with each word. It seems death may not take you this day. Those of the living have called you back. Shall you answer their call? Those of the living. Who? Uh, 
You, you are between life and death. Your soul has been called from beyond and shall be returned to its body should you heed it. Well, I thought I was done taking orders, but if I'm being called back, I suppose I'll oblige. The living have paid their price. Now you must pay yours. One cannot simply return to life for nothing. Those who do so scorn the laws of life and death. You must pay two prices. The first is small. You will have no memory of this place. You will simply remember darkness. The second price is yours to name. You must leave something with me. It can be large or small, dear or insignificant. Just know this. The fickle hands of fate know what you leave behind. Now make your choice. Hmm. Let me go back to that dead character sheet. <laughs> Uh, Shandi is... So I, I, in this realm, I still have, like, my belongings on me. You have everything you own, yes. Um, Shandi is going to pull out the dagger that was gifted to him by Lord Resk when he was taken into service. Okay. There was a time in my life when this meant everything to me. But... I think it's time I let it go. As you hold it out, the dagger slowly turns into ruby and then crumbles to dust and disappears. Pray you do not see me again. And your eyes shut. All right, everybody come back! Everybody come back! We're back. All right. So you... Oh, I said no. <laughs> so Shandi's dead so, now. I've got a meme ready for this. I. <laughs> so! Oh, is Chelsea back? Phoenix and Chelsea come back. Of course she has a back. Phoenix I and Chelsea am come back. back. Chelsea is... She'll be back soon. Are you coming back soon, or are you going to take... Your... Are you going to make your apple juice? She makes her own apple juice? That yeah, takes a does. long time. Do you she, milk an apple? She does, yeah. I've seen it. So, so much for the dramatic. Is that what the stem created. is for? Mm -hmm. so, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't called scene yet, so that's why we're not in character yet. I don't ever call scene. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I think I remember you calling scene though. Okay. Well, I'm, no, I, that's when he uh, suggested we all play Disney scene it. Okay, I can see how I get those confused. Yeah. All right. Actually, Sean D's alive. Everyone else is fucking dead now. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um. So, as you all stand around the altar and. Oh, wait, you're not sure what's happened. You don't know if it was a success or not. Um, two brutal silent minutes pass before breath returns to Shandi's lungs. <gasps> Shandi, you wake up and you feel worse than you have ever felt. Um, the standard... The things we talked about earlier still exist. As well as the standard reincarnation cost of minus four to attack rolls and skill checks. Um, yep. And each long rest subtracts, reduces that minus four by one. Okay. But, Shandi, you... <clears throat> breathe life back into your weary, battered body. You're at half HP, I think. Okay. Hey, and you Shandi. see you see your friends around you and all of them look a bit worse for wear. Um does Shandi have his earring on? That's or is he looking oh, like I think Ellis has got it. Yep. 
Mm. Hey, Shandi, how are you feeling? Would it be socially appropriate to hug you right now? What? We were in the cave. Oh, we and are now... so far away from the cave. Yeah, you, um, you died. So we brought you to a nearby healer in the Withered Queen's court. I'm gonna look down. Is my chest still, like, caved in? <laughs> it's not caved in, but it's severely bruised. You definitely feel some of your ribs are broken. Oh, I can... I can believe that. And I suppose you've all... Though, as, yeah, as you now. look down, you can see yeah. that your illusion is gone. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, um... That's tough. Yeah, well, when you're trying to make a name for yourself, it helps to be known as the fighter that never takes a hit. Without that, I... Doubt I would have found my way into Lord Resk's service. Well, hey, that's just between us. I mean, I'm sure Ellis will give it back. Yeah. And if you're afraid you look weird or anything, you don't first. But if you're afraid of it, I think since I'm in the group, if anyone sees us, they'll, they'll think I'm the weird one. Do you want a good berry? I still have some. Um, sure, I'll have a good berry. I am rather hungry. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, where? Okay. My, my backpack. Oh, one second. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, that's okay. I can get it. Sorry, I'm just trying to update my character sheet while I RP. <laughs> Um. Well, where are we? Um, the grove. In, yeah, in past the Withered Queen's Court. In the middle of the Withered Queen's in, Court. In the middle of the Withered Queen's Court. Yeah. Um. And you came all the way in here to bring me back, then. Yeah, I mean, it was the least we could do, yeah. Yeah, Alyssa said it was our best shot. Our job's not finished yet. Um, we also found a strange little demon inside an hourglass. Oh, I was gonna wait to tell him, but okay. You were gonna wait to tell him that? Like, maybe five more minutes. Oh, sorry, I was just trying to catch you up on everything. Yeah, honestly, Shandi, you should probably, like, rest for a while. Yeah. Then we but, can get back to things. Yeah, you can take like a nap and so, and I we can I can get you some food. Like if you don't want the good berry, I understand it's a very required taste. I can get you like something more substantial. I can just, I assume like they have food here, and I gotta ask for some can or like do something for some. Can we stay here though? We still have to get back. Uh, Carafir, who's still here, so, oh, says. Hi. Not only can you, but I insist you all oh. sleep for now. When your compatriots return, you will be awoken. Oh. Okay, um, fair warning. Um, we've been having a very weird, um, um, realistic dreams. Yeah. Hmm. Come closer. Oh. Yeah, and he, okay. holds, he yeah. holds his hand out and places it on your head and closes his eyes. Yes. Well, I wouldn't worry about that tonight. Whatever's, or should I say, whoever has been giving you these dreams can't hurt you here. Oh, that's a relief. Thank goodness. Um, is there anything, like, I could do to help out around here to earn some food? What or, you could um... do is sleep. Okay. And he sort of gestures to the back of the of the temple, and there are several beds 
They're he made out of. They're made. They were. Out. They were. He could. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> sure could. Level. He would. He could cast <laughs> sleep at first level, and you'd all pass out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 hit points. Yeah. <laughs> um. It's funny. Yeah. Shandy probably has the most. He. he uh, Fifteen. <laughs> Um, he gestures to the- there are several beds in the- in the back of this temple here. I insist that you sleep. Yep. Gladly. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we owe you one. Do not thank me. Thank the Watcher of Souls. Okay. And where is- where are they? <laughs> Child of the Wood. It is one of the elven gods, the one who I- Worship. Neralis Analor. I think I flipped past him in my research. One of the lesser gods. But his power and influence is great. Well, yeah. Okay, um, can I... Um, do you need help, Chandi, to, like, a bed? Do you have, like, a the comfiest bed? They, no. were all, I... they were all built of the grove and should be plenty comfortable. I can see myself to one of those. Although, sits up, <laughs> joints crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do feel weakened, but I can make it to the bed at least. Very well. Sleep now. What? My Why am I soaking wet? <laughs> and covered um. in spines. <laughs> <laughs> A lot has happened, we'll tell you in the morning. Very well. Uh, cool. So as you make your way over the beds and lay down on them, they don't look particularly comfortable. They basically look like tree roots. But as you lie down on them, one of the most comfortable surfaces you have ever laid on. And each and every one of you falls into a deep slumber. The first peaceful one you've had in quite a while. Except for you, Shandi. You find it hard to fall asleep. There's something missing. There's part of you that's gone. And it's the emptiness inside of you gnaws at you. You do eventually find your way to sleep. But it is a struggle. And when the rest of you dream or have your trance visions as you normally would. But for you, Shandi, it's nothing. We're going to end session a little bit early tonight because uh, it feels like a good place to stop. Uh, we'll pick up from there next week. Everyone is alive. Barely, though, dude. Wow. Well, well, we don't know if Brahm and Elith are alive. That's True. fair. Yeah, but they don't count. <laughs> um, it sure would be a bummer. Uh, does this rest like count towards as one the... of the as one of them? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not only did you guys barely make it out of that chase, but also dude rolled an eight. Like, had you not gotten both of those offerings, Shandi would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> At the at the uh, after the dragon fire thing, I was I, I was prepared to smash the hourglass. I was about to do it, but then he got frightened and ran away. Yep, that was, whoo, yeah. All right, well that's uh, that's that session there. We'll pick up from there, and you know where you guys uh, will go from here um, after all of this. Cool, that's been D and D. If you're not currently playing a game, you should do so because you can get spit on by a dragon. And it's the only game in the world you can do that, I bet. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. It is. You never know. Who, who's this? I, I mean, if you get, if you take a look at the Skyrim mods that are out there, you can get a lot more done on you by a dragon. <laughs> That's really terrible mm. to hear, actually. Ah. Uh, all right. <laughs> no. That's, no. That's, Stop. That's straight. You're done. <laughs> turn fucking dies. Yeah. Turn is dead. You can't punish turn the things I'd say. Bah, bah, bah.